because I don't know how much he's paying for the extra escort. Yeah. But isn't call call me crazy, wasn't didn't didn't like the main entrance is like non entranceable now? Yeah, he but he says there's dozens of secret entrances into the citadel in the surrounding wildlands. And some may be blocked and some aren't. It, it's Dwarves are very vague about these sorts of things. I guess Convenient. it makes sense in time of war, especially. Yeah. I, he hasn't been back to the Citadel in at least a decade, but he thinks he knows one of the old paths. It and sounds I, I like can, it's a good cause. Yeah, and I can, uh, I can get you guys up to Ballardston, and he's waiting in the, uh, in the hall. And, uh, well, uh, maybe, uh, maybe find some fun stuff along the way, you know? I mean, again, I don't know what he's willing to pay, and because this is kind of a favor for me, and it's like, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't think about money. I just was like, yeah, let's get this done. Always down for a good time. The fighting is enough pay for me. <laughs> All right. Easy there, killer. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's what I grew up okay. on. <laughs> and you'll just see that it, there is a rope that is just slowly, like, she's got the bestie bangle on one wrist, and there's just a rope that just slowly, like, coiled, almost like a snake around the other arm. <laughs> oh, so, um, do uh, you guys need a few minutes to get ready? Uh, let me know. How long is this old path? Okay, How so... How cold is it up there? <laughs> it's pretty cold. It's, um, I mean, it's like Arctic summer right now. But that's like fifty, you know, fifty degrees during the day. Our tickets stay twenty-three hours. It's not physically like that. Aww. So it's so it's fifty for regulars and two fifty for graders, right? It's fifty for a regular healing potion, two fifty for a grader. You can only have one grader. Max potion, max number of potions you can have is four. I'm gonna load up with three and one. Excellent. Um. So, I guess I'm good enough to go I'm out and go to get my horse. Yeah, yeah, no, a, a horse would be a good idea. You Thank guys you. can. I mean, I, you know, I don't Maybe know if there's many horses. Cool. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. Been cool. working I'm, I'm not sure if she's met there. Jezebel yet, but Forge comes back in <laughs> walking through the guild hall with a skeleton war horse covered in chainmail armor. <laughs> She's been around the block. I forgot that I knew name Jezebel. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. I mean, it. Oh god. Well, she looks better than yep. when the whatever the hell it was. Ader, Griffin, Hippogriff. I don't remember. It was episode one. <laughs> what did you say? It was what, a Griffin. What, it was a Griffin in the first episode. In, on the saddle, the leather saddle. There's engraved like, uh, like branded into it. Uh, Jezebel written in blocky ledgers as Forge would write. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, yeah, no, we can definitely work with this. Um, two animals and all right, everybody come close, come close, come close. She pulls out a book, kind of flips through it. It's like, <laughs> and you are off. The air instantly gets cooler. There is a salty breeze coming in from the sea. And you look around, and this, this, you guys have, most of you guys have probably been to the Ballardston branch and realize it's a little, it's less plush and refined than the Tea Leaf Adventuring Company in Cadoria. But also, you realize that those holes in the ceiling weren't there before, and there's like a smell of smoke in the air. And this, yeah, oh, rebuilding is taking time, but um, it's been. It's been an interesting week so far. There's those dragons brothers that we killed, like come back for revenge or something. Dragons, dragons brothers. <sighs> um, on the wild hunt, uh, way back. No, no, no. This is the um, this is the battle. I think I think Callie was here, helped us out with that, and about yeah, a week ago or so. Bears, giants, all the crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. So um. Yeah, we have we're working on rebuilding and the town is in the town's in a weird way. Um there was an assassination attempt and now that person like 
there's a lot of really confusing stuff happening this week, and I'm not too sure about where that all is going, but um, the friend of mine, um, weirdly enough, somebody, one, a friend of somebody who was that person that was assass- tried to be assassinated, they survived. Uh, the person, who, it's it's a weird con, it's weird, it's 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 very convoluted and we're not really sure what's going on yet but um she wants me to deliver this message to the dwarves and oh breakfast breakfast as as she's talking man burly bald-headed dwarf walks in blunderbuss across his shoulders with a nice neat goatee let me see if i do have his picture ready i don't want to share the character sheet but i don't think was this one of the guys that was at that like banquet we went to? Yeah, <clears throat> I'll just drop drop him on the title screen if I can. He was also on the mission with us with the uh, the dragons. If you, you mean you the were there, or the wyverns? Yeah, the wyverns. Yeah. Oh, I the remember one, him from the, the Wendigo one. That, one. Uh, yeah, he was on the Wendigo one. Wendigo. Again, tried to kill me. And yeah, the one that you tried to kill everyone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is Breathless Stone Basher. Hi. Oh, uh, is the five? Yeah, uh, these are the five that are willing to help you and get you over. All right. I appreciate this. I, this is. Uh, I don't know if my screen froze or not because I can't see him. I no, I can't pull him up right now. I wasn't prepared with a picture card because that's okay. He's he's available in the world, Anvil guys. I think he is, and I'm probably a liar. Who knows? But anyway. Use your theater of the mind. Ooh. He kind of kick so, you. He going to... Yeah, that's what he does. So, uh... This is the, uh... This is the crew, huh? Yeah. You lot ready to do some, uh... White o- overland travel? If we must. Yeah, we must. Sadly, there's not many ways to get into, uh... The Citadel right now. But... Old Braffus knows the way. It is a pass known as Oric Pass. Small Orsic little side cube. Close. You know, I knew I knew one of the Orsics. He's a. It was a. Yeah, his ass was not great. <laughs> Anywho, so um. Old are are Oric known for their asses? That's that's not something no, that typically no, been encountered. No, they're not. They're known for okay. the smell that comes out of them. Mm, fair. <laughs> so, side cavern leads in through into the city proper. There should be a small garrison there who can deliver the message for us. Do you? Do, uh, do we know who we're? So we're just delivering it to the garrison. It's not like a person in particular. Well, uh. I don't know the person in particular. Also, I didn't read it. You see him <laughs> private, you see. I don't read other people's mail. Is, is that something that I'm not supposed to do? <laughs> Technically illegal in some places. <laughs> <laughs> not that that stopped anybody before, but... I was about to say, when has something being illegal ever stopped you before, Callie? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay, just going to kind of like start whistling. She's like, just yeah, going to put really up her, her cloak at this point. Probably better to keep it under wraps that I'm mm-hmm. here before that gets out. But that's fair, Gregor. That's fair. Hey, Slappy, I know you're DMing me, but I can't um, change the things on stream. Oh. Because I'm not okay. running it tonight. <laughs> I'll let me womp go. womp. Thank you. Um so uh yeah, we can set out and be there in a few moments. Oh moments. <laughs> few few days, few days. Misspoke. Uh, It'll feel like my... moments, I'm sure. Hmm, I'm sure. <laughs> It'll be nice what? to get out and rough it again. Nice. Hey, it's been a while. Well, always glad to have a couple traveling companions on the north road. Um, we'll be living off the land. I can do some hunting, keep you fed. And we do a good job. We get back and uh, get some pay. And maybe I'll get it. Be, be a little bit of pay in it for y'all. I don't think you you really signed on here 
out of the goodness of your hearts. So what type of message are we delivering? Holds up like a, a sealed scroll. Message. One dwarf to another. I won't break a seal. I think he said he doesn't know what the message is, so... He did not read the message and was not told what the message was. Has would... a... Has been told who it's going to, but has chosen not to share it. Uh, I was I was just promised fighting. I don't care about a message. There will probably be fighting. There is a siege going on. We'll probably run into some foraging bands of bugbears or something. You never know. Uh, well, are we all, you have any more questions or should we get this show on the road? <laughs> I'm all for answering questions, but we're wasting daylight. Wasting daylight and potentially precious moments too if there's a siege. <laughs> mm-hmm. Couldn't all right. Break the siege. Look. Look. I understand you're big, brawny, muscular, and you, you probably want to do some fighting, but we're talking thousands of bugbears. Hundreds of ogres. Yeah. Probably giants at this point. There were giants here in town during the fighting. One of them tried I mean, to kill this last. The we're supposed to be scared about. That sounds like a challenge. Sounds like okay. a good time. All right, what. you guys can go in the front gate and act as the distraction, and I'll go in the back. <laughs> <laughs> you like going into the back gate, don't you? Uh, well, the girl never <laughs> kisses and tells. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we gotta oh, travel. We gotta light up. run around. Unka's oh, eyes would light up as he was listing the different enemies, and be like, "Well, that sounds like a good time, but I will stay with the group, whatever we decide." <laughs> All right, so shall we go? Forge hops onto Jezebel's back. Uh, <laughs> you hear a crack, and Jezebel kind of like has to take a couple steps to stabilize herself, and then she's good. Excellent. This little stays close to everybody. All right, let's go. And now, a word from our sponsors. Not just kidding. We don't have any. So T and D Travel takes about three days. Um, Breakfast does very well to forage off the land. Provides you guys with middling food. You know, not really a world-class chef, but it's bland but filling. What my exes say about me. Give it. Yeah, Gregor's just not going <laughs> to eat the food anyway. It's like, no offense, Breakfast, but uh, yeah, no. Can Onka have volunteered to help with the hunting? Sure, and you guys have a good time with it. You know, Brav is, is impressed with your ability to throw javelins, and but he he'll, he's like, I'll stick to my, my Belunda bus. Thank you. I don't trust anything that can explode in my face. Echo prepares tea for everybody while they're hunting. What is this elf juice you bring, bring me, boy? You got some mead? There is plenty of meat on Azul if you need it. All right. Without further ado, <laughs> you guys, after three days of traveling, various banter, anything else that you want to role play, feel free before we continue. However, you begin to near these these large cliffs. Um, they are naturally made. However, I always tell people that they are akin to uh, the wall from Game of Thrones. Very tall, foreboding, but they are natural. And the wall is also natural. Is it like one cliff, or is it kind of like Thousand Needles from World of War, where it's like pillars, or is it just like one big... It is a massive cl single... There are some jutting like stones and everything, but it is a single cliff okay. that goes about 700 feet in the air. And ahead of you, probably... Seven or eight miles off, you do see... Not seven or eight, but to the maximum of your vision at this point, you do see the twin spires of Clankbridge Citadel at the top of the, the cliff. All right. This should be where Auric Pass be it is. Um, quiet. 
don't know what we're going to find. Us usually it just looks like a cave to most of the under creatures, but there's been some weird goings on with these bug bears. Strange. Otherworldly. What was that? I can't hear you over Jezebel's armor clanging. <laughs> on that note, I think from here on out, we continue quietly. Okay? And I need everybody to roll a group stealth check. <laughs> I suck at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait. Get it that or does. I think it does. A D on uh, D&D <laughs> &D Beyond indicates disadvantage. Yes. Correct. Yep. Fun stuff. I have never been happier for armor of the keeper and quick changing oh, right oh, now. Good. Good. I forget my helm armor um, imposes disadvantage on stealth checks. That doesn't look promising. I do Those not have disadvantage on stealth checks uh, right now. <laughs> this is a war yes. Seth roll. If you are riding her, yes. Perfect. All go in the plan. <laughs> well, I need to do that for Azul as well. Anyway. At this point, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Where is the uh, stealth check for the... Uh, just do a dexterity roll. Yep. Okay. If they don't have stealth, just a straight dex roll. <laughs> wow. Where is a guard drink, so... <laughs> that goes over here like... And it's like... <sighs> The, the, the chain mail bardens just balancing off of Forge's legs, just clink, 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 clink. Okay, so. <sighs> Surprisingly, Gregor and Callie are able to get kind of kind of far before they realize that into this weird cliffside clearing that they see above them some. There's like a um, a mesa with a, a humanoid figure standing atop it, dressed in furs and hides. And then down in between this cliff is another one who hears all the commotion. And I need everyone to roll initiative. And I'm going to bring you to the map so you can click on your now. token. Oh, I, I went too soon, but... Okay, I'll add your turn. Nice. It's like the best initiative roll I've had since I started playing with you guys. I'm super pumped. <laughs> We're coming back. It's with okay. Greg is down to his normal initiative. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I normally sit, is like six. I've got a plus two, and I can't roll above a ten. The heck did it go? A little retcon. Am I able to uh, cast aid once we get to the cliff? I know I, I didn't announce it, but... I'm going to say... Um... No, because okay. at this point, but because you guys can now see the map, I'm giving you your adventure tier bonus of strategizing because these creatures, Callie, you have seen these people before. They are berserkers of the black worm. Do I at least have the, the action black... I need to put the armor back on? The, the black worm. Wait, wait, what? Yeah. 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 I, I, I know that word. Mm -hmm. I, I know that word he says would, would I recognize anything about them from my visions in Tavern Chapter not, no, not, not directly really. but you have a pretty good idea who they are I gotta bring like them to any the voices as I see them yeah not really voice so much as glee excitement something you've never felt from this weapon before uh oh if you um, proc weapon, if you proc the weapon at night, that's at disadvantage. It is at disadvantage for being in the lands of the black worm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> double ship balls. Balls. <laughs> um, how tall are these cliffs that are in front of us with the guys on top of? Uh, thirty-five feet. Thirty-five feet up. Okay. Yep. Um, and before the combat begins, this one on the top pulls out a glowing green spear and hucks it at this tree. It embeds itself and the whole tree begins to glow green. And I will add that 
issue to the initiative when the time comes. Which, which will be very soon. Oh. The one in the center of the clearing right here, you should be able to see it. Oh, I thought that was like a crack. The one looks like a crack in the ground. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm working with the assets I have. I'm sorry. So, Onka, you have the initiative, and your loud ass is getting the party in trouble. What you got? Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as I see that, I'm like, oh, that looks scary, and you look threatening, so I'm going to pull out my new spear. And which one was the one that threw the green spear? Is the one on top of the cliff right in front of us? On top, yeah. The mesa. That's definitely a mesa. Or a plateau, maybe? My dog has been quiet for the last 30 minutes. Now it's my turn. <laughs> and, Naturally. And he wants to bark. He's just <laughs> cheering you on. He's saying, don't make anything that requires a good save. Yeah, so I, I would like to throw my angelic spear up at that guy. Okay, make a... Make it an attack roll. Uh, no. Hold on, sorry. I'm trying to find where I have. I think I've got it set up correctly here. It's a disadvantage because it's not. It's not. It's not the good weapon. That's uh, probably not that great. A thirteen hits. 13 hits. All right. So. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. What's the uh, range modifier on that? Well, it doesn't matter because you're at disadvantage anyway. Here is 2060. It yeah. doesn't matter. You're at, yeah, you're at disadvantage, disadvantage anyway. anyway. <clears throat> you know what? Cool. Rule of Cool says, yeah, you fucking. You just line it up. The whispers are getting mad in your head, and you're just like. Hua! And it's. Uh, oh, actually, yeah. Is that based on your dexterity? The plus five or the plus eight? Uh, it's, uh, it should still be strength because it's thrown, right? I like don't. my javelins. I think go off of my strength. Okay, that sounds good. I honestly, I don't do thrown weapons enough. So, I'll take. I'm the kind of think, TM that's I like, think, yeah, I'll take be, for. I think because I'm a barbarian, it's it's based on my strength, not dex. But I could, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, well, well, that's fine. You need all the help you can get. So, ten damage, <laughs> or uh, yeah, ten. Well, ten plus two d eight. Hold on, right, let me roll that. That spear. Twelve oh, additional. A kraken spear, because that sounds like it. <laughs> so he'll take an additional twelve radiant damage. <clears throat> oh, ow! Nice. Uh, Anything yeah. else? Would that proc the evil touch thing? Or no? Is he evil? Is it just... Is it an evil creature? Or is it a kind of creature? It says evil creatures that touch... The, I guess he would probably have to touch it with his hand, not just... He has, like, yeah, it's not... It, that doesn't proc unless somebody actually takes what? the weapon in their hand. Yes. Um, is he he's still up? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of use my momentum and like twirl a javelin off my back and chunk one of my javelins up there as well. Okay. You know, we don't like the glowy green spear thingy. This is a nat one. That will not hit. Probably not. So, um, yeah. And, and I will end my turn. I'm just going to kind of hang back for now with the group. Thank you, Luke. All right. So, Forge, the turn is yours. However, yeah. on on the 20, that tree almost looks like it's waving from the strike of the spear. But then you realize it's not waving. It's moving. Oh, boy. And the token is getting added to the board. Uh, is there any movement penalty for mountain dismounting off the horse it's half movement I believe yeah it's half your movement what if I had used it like as like on a cliffside like to grab onto a cliffside is it still that yeah because yeah, you're, same you're thing standing up yeah okay. it's expending the movement to move it's it's expending the movement to do specific actions if you want to think about it that way Okay, uh, so I am going to uh, ride the horse in, let's see, to 
to there. So that's 40 feet. Yep. I'm going to put on my my Christmas hat of uh, confined spaces and use that to start climbing up the cliffside so I can get 15 feet up the cliffside. I don't know how tall that is with Jezebel. It's 35 feet because let's not overwork it. <laughs> okay. Uh, my climbing speed is equal to my walking speed, so I can get up uh, yes, 15, 15 feet of those feet. Uh, yep. Am I still able to cast while climbing? So. Your hands are busy. Uh, I should have cast it first. Uh, fine. Yeah. And, uh, once I dismount, uh, Jezebel's going to go ahead and attack that guy. Mm-hmm. And 20 for 7. Okay, 20 is a hit. And my hands are busy while I'm on the cliffside, so that will be the end of this turn. Would you like to double move? Ooh, I can. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just dash and do the rest of the climbing. So I'll be up on top, and I guess that's probably where... I'll yeah, for simplicity's sake, that's probably the best place where you make it. And I will end my turn. I'm also going to post the, uh, the hat for you guys. Yep, that's fine. So, the the haunted, the haunted oak, as it were, is going to... Start making its way towards Forge. Oh, I should probably roll in this shit for Braffus, huh? Sorry. He is here. Oh, good. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the Haunted Oak of the Frozen Reach. Da -da 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 is not in range of anybody yet. Oh, it's going to double move. Hi. Hello there. So you know what? We'll play this smart. It doesn't need to be that close. Hi. And that's going to be its turn. Miss Callie, you are up. All right. Uh, we are going to start our turn. We are going to pop greater invisibility. Fuck this shit on mount. All right, and then um, I will bonus action rage, and then I'm just going to move up my 40 feet to here, and that is my turn. Right. We are on to the Berserkers. So, boom, boom, boom. He can't see me. Oh, you're right, he cannot, so... Uh, <laughs> oh, I wonder what's going to happen if he gets there. Uh, technically, he has to... I, I've got reach, so he has to move a little bit further before I can attack him. Yeah. Uh, there would be the yeah. official spot. Uh, no, Angry <laughs> oh, stealth! I miss. You miss, it, but the thing is, he does not know you're there. Mm -hmm. 30... Double move, cut off Azul at the pass. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, sixty. He's gonna be right there on you. This one's gonna move in. This one's gonna move in. This one literally is just gonna bump into Cali, like. Mm hmm. Doesn't know why, doesn't know what happened. Invisible wall. Basically. That one is. Actually, that's probably too far. That one's going to go there. Doesn't realize there's a giant warhorse blocking the way. And the one on Azul is going to make reckless attacks. Or a reckless attack. Didn't that one double move? You're right, never mind, it did. I'm sorry, there's a lot of small small piddly nothings. 
Uh, they don't have range. And the only one that had a spear... Heck, anyways. God. <laughs> he's just gonna start climbing down the, the mesa. Because he did his part. Uh, on Forge, recklessly. Fun day one. Nope. Fuck you. Um, they don't know Callie's there. This one's climbing down. On Jezebel. 18. Hits. For eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Noted. Yep. Braffus's turn. It's going to go right here. He's going to level the blunderbuss at the one in front of Azul. And... Boom! Is a miss... But he's okay to fire again. <laughs> That's a hit for not terrible amounts of damage. Okay, good to know. Um, 11 points of damage on this one. Okay, so now would be the time to uh, kill them. And it is now Echo's turn. Echo's going to get right on beside him. Swing beside the goal. And we're on a bonus action shield bash. Okay. Um, miss, because he did not reckless. And we're going to take two swings with a warhammer. Oh. 17 is a hit for 11 points of damage. Wow. 12 is a miss. Only those were at advantage, double crit. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost like if I had attacked recklessly, it'd be at advantage. (laughs) (laughs) And if he did that, he would have dropped, um, I think it's 4 AC because they stack. Well, luckily it's. Let's. Yeah, luckily it did not. Gregor! Oh, Echo, anything else? I'm sorry. Um, Azul. Gonna take a hoof attack. Okay, go with Azul. That crit hits. There's the crit. Fuck it, you rolled three fucking crits. Three twenties. Row. Three twenties and five rolls. That'll be all the crits I do all all night. That's all you needed. It yeah, Azul just kinda rears up and slashes out with its four claws and does considerable damage. Uh now it's Gregor's turn. Is it still up? Gregor has yes. to do old man stuff and be like, ugh like cracks everything over even though it's still young it's like all right let's get this fucking armor on kathy get out here i know it's cold don't complain just deal with it for now okay you never take me anywhere nice <laughs> when are we yeah, going to a moco it's a winter wonderland you're spending time with that hussy pot- Callie again aren't you oh good lord here we go <laughs> Kathy let's not do this right now just no relax you only you only talk to me when you need something <laughs> Callie's biting her tongue so hard not right now not to be <laughs> figured out where she is <laughs> and that's the entirety of my turn because that's an action and a bonus action <laughs> frankly I don't see a point in moving so <laughs> what is a cat what did I uh- Kathy. Animated Kathy shield. Kathy is his animated, animated shield. shield. That's <laughs> really jealous. That's awesome. Oh my god. That is so awesome. Oh god, it's your turn. Uh, so I'm going to start my turn by bonus action raging. Now that they have engaged. Okay. Directly. Uh, this guy, is he at the bottom or is he like... He is climbing down. He's climbing down. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up Make to here. Fall. And then I'm going to pull out my uh, one of my hand axes and throw it at the guy climbing down the cliff. Yep. Unfortunately, at disadvantage. That's probably not going to be good. That is not good enough. Kind of clinks into the cliff next to him. He just looks at it and pulls it out and looks down at you and smiles. <clears throat> gonna kind of wave he's, at him. Like he's going to hold, hold on to that for a bit. I'm going to wave at him. 
Hi. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to pull out the bite of the black worm and swing at the guy next to Echo and Azul. <gasps> okay. Why was there a breath there? That, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a shot. Take the shot. Fifteen is a hit. Uh, I forgot to add rage. So one hand, because I didn't say I was putting my shield away. So one hand is going to be nine damage. Very good. Very good. And my ancestral guardians will do their thing on the guy. Yep. He is weak. Call him from our land. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. Oh, fun stuff. Boy. <laughs> um, so that was already bonus action movement. I mean, I guess I have some movement left, but I'm not going to use it. So that's my turn. All right. Forge, you got Forge. one on you and a big fucking tree. Forge looks around and sees the amount of enemies, looks up and goes, Gan, please give me assistance. And a bunch of uh, spirits come around him. Spirit guardians. Okay. So 15 uh, foot. Uh, all, I'm just going to make it easy. All my friendlies are immune to it. So. Yep. It's a 15 well, foot. Yeah. So, so the yep. thing is, those guys are 35 feet down. So it's really only affecting the guy next to you. Yeah. Right. I think the tree is the tree. Oh, range, do you the still want to do the re- the tree will be in range? Oh. Do you still want to do that? Because I got the aura ready to go. Um. Never mind. I'm going to change that to. Let me get my spell slot back. I'm going to change yep. that to giant insects, <laughs> so I can throw them at the guys below. So okay. I'm going to open the latch pop out three spiders one's gonna go towards the tree uh the other two i'm gonna uh i'm gonna toss one behind the uh the two down there that way they're kind of trapped between a giant spider and a war horse and then the other one i'm gonna lob over to where that guy's climbing down okay so it's a 30 foot range so I can throw them up to 30 feet and then they have their movement. That one right about there? Yeah, sure. And then the other one uh, down in that little valley. Perfect. Yeah, he's squeezed in there, but it'll do. Yeah, I mean, he's a spider. He can fit through tight spaces. Yeah. And um, you've got the stat block for that? I do. I already have they, it up. They only have 26, so... Yep. Uh, so the spider by the tree is going to attack the tree. Okay, roll it. Yeah, that seven's a miss. Yeah. Uh, the spider behind the guy is going to attack that guy. Okay. Twenty-three for four. Yep. And then a DC eleven Constitution save for the uh, the poison. And half as much damage unsuccessful. Con. Oh, look, he's good at that. Uh, so nine total. Yep. Uh, and then the spider's going to climb down and meet that guy right over the top of him and drop his veins right down onto him. Okay. 15, 15 is a hit. Four with a, the con save again. Uh, yeah, that's a save. So uh, seven total. Uh, Jezebel is just going to stand there blocking the way. He's going to take the dodge action. Okay. Uh, that way he's a little protected from these fuckers. Uh, and mm-hmm. then bonus action, spiritual weapon. Uh, that's going to drop. Uh, let's drop it on right behind the guy that I'm fighting. Mm hmm. And that's going to be 24 for 9. Okay. 24 for 9 on the spiritual weapon. I, uh, You're the green one. Where are you putting that again? Ping it, Sir Forge. Okay. Here. Yeah. Jeez. 
It wasn't let me ping, so. But no, you're good. I'm just. Uh, yeah. I'm just jeezing because of the fucking cacophony of nonsense on the board. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's how it's going to be for the next few turns. Uh, so that will be action, bonus action, and my turn. Action, bonus action, and your turn. Spiritual weapon did nine points of force to that one. Okay. Um, my turn. So, Haunted Oak of the Frozen Reach makes four attacks. On the spider will be two attacks from the branches. The first is a 24 to hit. Yep. For 14. Yep. And the second is a 16 for 17. That spider is dead. Good. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm just, I'm really proud of what I've done here today. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. You're within 15 feet. The next two attacks will be on Forge. 22. Nope. Fuck you. Yeah, that's a fucking fumble. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's, that's, um, that's his turn. So, Callie, you're up. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I do one thing in chat. Yeah. All right. Um, I hey! yeah. <laughs> Damn. I need some extra rolls. <laughs> I mean, I've got that's eight now, so hopefully we don't come to that. But um, so I am going to attack the guy that kind of ran into me, like as a brick wall first. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll do it recklessly because they can't oh. see me anyway. Actually, wait, because they can't see me with that. Be nah, whatever. Recklessly, because fuck it. Yeah, because um, it's the time for it. They're going to do it, too. Yeah. Um, you guys are going to be straight invisible. rolling on each other. All right. Um, so uh, that would be 13 for the first. And then again. And I'm going to reroll the damage on that one real quick. Yep. Just... Both hit. Wow, for the same. Okay. So it is still only... Uh... 10 for the second. So 10 and 14. So that's 24 total. And then I'm going to kind of like do one of those like stupid like Metal Gear Solid like jump rolls and try oh to God. get here. Yeah. My golf. Yeah, because you're not leaving either threatened space. So you, you do it. They, and they technically can't see me. So he just got attacked from here and then I'm moving. So that way, hopefully he doesn't know where the fuck I am. Wait, the attacks don't break invisibility? No, not, not, not greater her. invisibility. Regular invisibility they do, but the spell's greater invisibility, wow. so it doesn't. Yeah. Wow. Greater visibility. You gotta remember, busted. Kelly is level eight and has been playing nearly since the beginning. So so why didn't we she just like it. go to break the siege? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's only good for one time minute. Time <laughs> yeah. Time. That's ten. Anything time. else, Kelly? Um Bonus action, I will inspire Echo. There you go. Echo, you're going to get a nice little uh, dot to be inspired. And that's Ooh, what I got. Pretty colored dot. Pretty My colored favorite. dot for you. And that's Andy. it, my good sir. Excellent. The Berserker's turn. So he's going to, this one's going to 5, 10, bump into you, be like, What? This one's going to swing wildly at the, the wall he hit. <laughs> this one's going to... So he's, like, missing, and then he starts to, like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This one's 5, Okay, 10. hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Do your thing. He ain't going nowhere. Oh, he's not going in. <laughs> So you, he goes to walk away, and you just take the pipe and, the pike and like, flash his hamstrings, and he's just like... Oh! <laughs> yeah, but with ten piercing. Uh, so that's ten piercing plus two rage plus three poison. So that's fifteen total. Jesus. Oh. All right. Uh, that's the southern end of the map. The northern end. He's gonna bop down on the ground. and He's going to fucking 
Merc a spider. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, not with, uh, recklessly, 20. Hits. Six points of slashing damage. Noted. <laughs> he, has, he has 20 now. I, I need to This that. one's going to turn around and hit the other spider. Uh, reckless, 22 for five points of damage. Noted. This one's going to hit uh, Reckless at Jezebel, but she's dodged, it's so roll. it's a straight roll. That's a 17. Wait, let me check my... Was it 18 or 16? Let me check real quick. It is 16, so it hits. 10 points of slashing. Noted. Jezebel looks pretty fucking hurt. Uh, we would... That, that guy that moved, by the way, can't move because of Sentinel, so he's back. Oh, yeah, okay. Right next to me. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, no, it wasn't It wasn't that guy. It was, sorry, it was, I think this guy moved forward. One, one of these two guys moved forward because there was three guys surrounding me. Yep. Okay. I didn't think, no, no, no. Oh, oh that was the, I don't that know which guy. Was there. Okay, yeah. No, you took the actual attack on, I'm sorry. Okay, all um, right. And the last no one, the last one on Forge, recklessly. Roll, please. Oh, it did. Um, twenty, which is a miss. Cool, awesome. Brafus's turn. Oh, I'm saying, uh, excuse me, old timer. The ones by us attack. No, thank you for that. <laughs> Coulda just let we woo forget. Uh, this one's gonna be on Onka at advantage because he f- tried to fuck him up the last time. Twenty-one for fifteen. Barely gets through. What type of damage is it? Uh, slashing. So have to seven. Mm-hmm. And this one's gonna be reckless on Azul. I thought that. I thought the other one got stuck by Kelly. No. 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 Oh, I missed that. I would have cleared it up if it happened. No, nope. right. I I I miss missed which guy was trying to move. That was all. Mm-hmm. So this one attacks Azul for twenty one. Yeah. Seven points of slashing damage. And Brafus's turn. Yep. Oh, excuse me, old timer. Don't don't. Oh, I'm not, not old no, anymore. Don't, no, I realize that. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me, pretty boy. That's better. Hey, same. <laughs> Oh no, he's on reload this turn because he shot twice. He's reloading. And he's like, Oh, uh, how's it been since I, uh, since I had to save your ass that last time? And that's his turn because he's reloading. Echo, you're up. Rat. Uh, Zul is. Azul's going to take a hoof attack first on the guy right beside her and Echo. So, this one, okay. Yeah, that one. Uh, that is a hit for eight points of bludgeoning damage. He's not looking good. All right. And for the shiz and giggles, same target, shield bash. 20 is a hit for three. Just kind of um, bash it in, and the spike just lodges in his chest, and he's like, ah, ah. "We're gonna take a swing." Thirteen for eight is enough to drop him. All right. All right. Anything else? I got forward. Okay, you may. One up, and Azul's gonna move up right beside Echo. Okay. And Echo's taking another swing at the target behind him. Okay. That is actually at advantage because he reckless. That's a crit. And his AC drops. By uh, how much? Two? Two. two. Jeez, so his AC is an 11. Like, I'm double checking. Yeah, it says it right there. Critical hit using the. Uh, yep, for one minute. Okie dokie. Damn. Anything else, Echo? Um, Azul's gonna move. Well, no, she already attacked. Never mind. 
I was going to do the charging. Yeah, she already attacked. Yeah, so that's all. Okay, Gregor. All right, this is when I get to have fun. Uh, yeah. Just giant storm cloud just like kind of slowly rises up from him as he cast uh, call lightning. And can I see the two that are in front of Jezebel around her or no? Mm, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to say yes, just because <laughs> the maps aren't perfect and she's a skeleton. All right. Um, see it right. You know they're there. Yeah. So I need both of them to make a deck save. No. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. It's only DC 14. <laughs> that's a fail. And that's a pass. So one close to the Jezebel passed. Yes. One uh, failed. So the one that fails taking 30 and the one that passes is going to take 15 because I'm maximizing them with uh, Wrath of the St- er, not Wrath of the Storm. Uh, Destructive Wrath. Good lord. Good fucking lord. Oh, and okay. they both get knocked back 10 feet along the chasm. <laughs> they don't really go anywhere because there's a spider in the way. They like oh, yeah, bump, I forgot about that they one. They bump and shake and it's just it's like a fucking tin can in there, like just rattling around. Oh no, I legitimately couldn't see the spider against the cave while it blended in way too well. That's fair. Anything else? As spiders do. Uh, I am gonna work my way. God, put it in right mode. Over to here, because I can't see Callie, and I don't know where the hell she went to. Mm-hmm. That's fair. And now it's my turn. All right, Onka, you're up. Onka, roar, um, <laughs> roar, kill, kill weak ones. I'm gonna move this direction, and as I move that direction, I'm gonna throw a hand axe at the one surrounded by the three of them. And he attacked recklessly, correct? Yes. So my second hand axe, this will cancel out my disadvantage. So it should be a normal roll. Oh, he has your hand axe. I forgot about that, huh? <clears throat> it should be 11, which might be a tie at the redu- reduction. That's He is not reduced. But he was reduced. No, no, no. The, the other one is reduced. That's next to Echo already. This one is not. But there's only one left next to Echo. One died. But you're not next to Echo right now. No, I'm oh, throwing you sh- the one. Oh, I'm okay. throwing I, at the one next I didn't, to Echo. I didn't understand why you moved closer to one and then... Sorry. Okay. No, yeah. As no, I'm moving, that I'm, does like chunking, I'm chunking an axe at the one next to Echo. And it's because it's at disadvantage anyway because you... Because of the black... Oh, okay. Fair enough. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. Uh, so 13 total. I don't know if... Is thrown damage the same, I guess? Yeah, it's the same. It is, yeah. So 13 it, Luke, total damage. Luke confirmed for me. 13 um, total damage. And then I will use the bite of the black worm on this guy fighting the spider. Who okay. thinks he's going to take my magical axe. Uh, and this will be one-handed. This time yep. I will specify. Oh, shit. Click the wrong thing. Did he attack recklessly at the spider or no? Yes. Probably. Probably? Okay, so normal. Oh, I mean, no, shit. This should be at advantage. Anyway. Yeah. So let me do Didn't one more. Didn't matter. Oh. I, I forgot I was using the right weapon this time. <laughs> so, uh, so 17 for uh, 11. <clears throat> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Or no, hold on, hold on. The first one was 25 for 10. 25 for 10, okay. I was going to take the higher of the damages. The first, well, I was going to take the first damage roll. I thought the 17 was the, the second one. So 10. Okay, we'll take the 10. 10 total damage. Yep, that's fine. 25. Okie dokie. So my Anything guardians else? are over on this one. Yes. The, by the dragon. Or by okay. uh, Azul. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Anything else? Uh, I'm just going to end my turn. Forge! Okay. Uh, first things first, Jezebel's really hurt. Uh, Jezebel's going to disengage, take a wide route, uh, and run over. like Do a little horse hop over uh, Mr. Uh, Bethis, right? Is- Breathis. 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 Yep. Uh, so, 
uh, 60 feet of movement. Oh, okay. Yep. So, Jezebel's just fucking off. Is, do you yeah. want the off off the map? Uh, yeah. Let's let's keep Jezebel she, safe. She's all right. She will be out of combat for now. Um, the uh, the spiders are gonna take their attacks because I don't care if they die. They're at advantage. Yeah. 12 and 20, so I'm assuming the 12 misses. Uh, the we'll 12 misses. The furthest. Uh, so okay. closest one missed, uh, furthest one hit. Uh, okay. 20 for 4, plus 13 poison, DC 11 con save. Saved, uh, so it's so going to be... Yep. Uh, from there, I still have my action and bonus action. I'm going to do... Uh, would Is that spear still sticking out of the tree Did, is that something we would notice passively or something I would have to investigate make a perception check if it's something you're looking for you can have a perception check to see my passive is 16 if that matters doesn't see it, it's not sticking out anymore it, okay, thank so you for using your passive more, everybody use more passive skills <laughs> um, so then I'm not going to do that then I'm just going to uh, take melee attacks. Okay. So 13 for one hand, so 7. And then the spiritual weapon. Okay. 12 uh, for 4. So the spiritual weapon misses. Yes, that is correct. Uh, and that's bonus action. Action, and that's my turn. Cool. All right. My turn. The hmm. tree. The tree. He is going to expend all four attacks on you, Forge. Okay, 25 is the number. I know. 26 for 16. Okay. The second... Okay, cool. Yeah. The second attack is 23, so that is a miss. The first root attack, 23. Again. And the final root attack. Fuck. It's a tree. It's not that smart. Hit pretty hard, though. Hit pretty hard. It, it hits oh. pretty hard. I have a lot of armor. I don't have a lot of health. Yeah, no, I know that. And he's bored of you. I bet. <laughs> Run away, little tree. It's not really running. It's a, oh. It's not retreating. It's advancing towards future victory. <laughs> little tree. Alrighty. Callie, you're up. Alright. Um, I will do my two attacks at the guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Sorry, because you're invisible, mm -hmm. and plus I'm not sure where in front of you is. Which sorry. The, the guy that uh, I stopped moving last turn that took damage. Fair enough. Thank you. Um, yes, no problem. Um, and then we will, we will continue to sneak. Alright. So uh, very nice. Are you recklessly recklessly doing this? Um yeah, yeah. I sorry, I continued to do reckless. So yeah. sixteen is a hit. And twenty or twenty three is definitely a hit. Okay. So it's sixteen for the first and seventeen for the second. And then I'm just gonna Flatten myself against the wall here. <laughs> this is fucking hilariously bad. <laughs> like, they know something's hitting them. Yep. But they're like, <laughs> just flailing wildly at the spot you were in. Fucking yep. high level spells and fucking mm -hmm. stupid ass barbarians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, starting from the top on Forge, we're going to recklessly attack you. 23 is a miss. Recklessly attack the Spoder. That is uh, 21 for 8 points of slashing on this spider. Let me do some quick math. Yep. I'm going to uh, move and attack the other spider as well. 8 plus 6. The other spider takes 12 points of damage. Cool. They're still up. Okay. This they're one is... Hurt, but they're still up. 
This one is going to attack the other spoder. Onka is not really concerning him right now because Onka's Onka. The weapon is daunting, as it were. Seven well, points. Spider has nine health, so seven. Okay, points. seven points. It has two health. Yeah. Uh, these two are bumble fucking around because Callie is messing with their brains. Mm-hmm. Um, let's let's give them a, a chance to be less bumble fucky. Sure. Uh, this one is going to try and get past Callie squeezing by. Do your thing if you wish. Nope. If he's staying there, he is not out of my range. Well, he is. He's moving further. Okay. So. All right. Um, I'm gonna hold off and see if the one that I've been damaging is gonna move, and I'll attack the one that I've been damaging. All right. And roll another. Th- and the coin flip says he's going to move. So do your thing. All right. And okay. I did not do my reroll on damage, so I'm gonna reroll damage. Okay. On one. All right. So instead, that'll be 11, 16 damage total. Jesus. Yeah, and he's just bumble fucking around. Yeah, and he's wonder- he's stuck there again. <laughs> On Onka, let's go with a reckless attack. Fucking miss, god damn it! How much? How much? Oh, I guess the first he time, missed. Then you he missed. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, he missed. <laughs> and Brafus's turn. Brafus is like the one in, uh, to the left or the, above me. The left of you. Okay. Brafus is gonna just gonna pick one. Point. They're kind of just lining up like ducks. Uh, he can do two attacks, so he will. He's gonna fuck. He's gonna turn right. One barrel. Boom. Turn left. Boom. So the first one is on the one to the north of the spider. Till it fucking jams. Twenty-three. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Catches this guy just square in the chest. And then the second one on the the southernmost uh, s- barbarian is a 13, which is a hit, but does not kill. Okay, everybody, this is this is a lot of fun, but we can we can uh, kill them now. Running out of ammo, and uh, that's his turn. So echo. All right, let's see. God. Is those going to take a hit of opportunity and back up 20 feet and then charge? Then take an attack of opportunity. Okay, we'll roll that. Uh, double sixes. Nope. Actually, that's double ones. So, yeah, definitely not. Take your 20 foot back, you charge. Order the first hit. There's a critical failure for Mr. Azul or Miss Azul. So that is a miss. Yep. And we're gonna do bonus action chill batch with Echo. Yep. That's a miss. And two swings. That's a, that's a hit. And that's and, a miss. Oof. <laughs> oof. <laughs> The fucking ones today. Here. What did that one reckless at all? That one didn't take. Yeah. A turn. Yeah, I was gonna say that one didn't attack at all. Um, I I totally forgot to attack with him, but yeah. So yeah, no, he forgot didn't. to attack with the guy north of me. Shh. You want to attack it's, with them? No, I don't. Okay. Nice try. Because then they would have reckless. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to attack with that? Are you no, sure? I'm done. And so it's now Gregor's turn. <laughs> Damn. You guys I mean, still got a fucking tree to deal with. <laughs> you just keep lining up in the tree beautiful now. targets. That's the problem. I know. That's okay. I've cut some firewood before. I'm also mildly sorry, Onka, because you're going to get in the range of this one. Because <laughs> it's a yeah, five. <laughs> So I'm going to drop the lightning strike right there. So it's going to hit all three of them, unfortunately. Yep. So DC 14. I'm going to roll damage this time, at least. Yeah, I'm going to laugh when Gregor is the one that puts me into Berserk Rage. It is a it is a dexterity save, though, so you can see it. 
Oh, well, yeah. So you're, DC 14, you're like, I can, I can see the effect, so I get advantage on the deck. What, what happens is you're, you're, you feel like the, you get the smell of ozone in the air. You're, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up, and you're like, huh? Lightning's gonna strike. Let's get out of the way. I'm like, what is this? I look over at Gregor, and I'm like, I know what this is. <laughs> Uh, the one to the left of Onka saved, and the one to the top of Onka failed. What'd you say? DC 14? Yeah. Advantage. <laughs> wow, the dice really effing me on that one. <laughs> that damage, we don't, don't even worry, that's piddly damage. <laughs> we don't save. But yeah, it definitely doesn't, definitely not even. Oh no, save. it's only seven damage. It's not even the other seven. <laughs> Oh, let me heal seven of that back. Uh, Bonka, you failed. Oof. I mean, I still only took seven damage. So. I, I know, I know. <laughs> so, I was like, please don't fail this, because if anything is going to put me in, in Berserk today, it's probably this. Well, the oh, top shit. died from that. And that's the one that saved. The one that Callie's been harassing this whole time is... is gets the full brunt of that okay anything oh, yeah. else gregor uh the one that's next to Onka actually gets shoved back another 10 feet <laughs> oh wait oh, right. back, back into the, which would be here right into the wall well if you drop if you dropped it there though would it be pushed it back towards you i'm gonna say it's pushing him this way because it's fun that way <laughs> all right i mean technically it says push away from me okay oh okay then it's, it's mm-hmm. that way Okay. Back. That's fine. <laughs> it gets uh, the last airbender back into the uh, rock. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. All right. Unlocks Anything else, rocket. Gregor? No, that's it. I'm happy where I am. Honka. I'm saying sorry. To respond to a work text. All right, we're good. Um. Um. Uh, I guess I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to look at the guy that survived the lightning blast and say, just a second, take one of my remaining two javelins off my back and throw it at the guy surrounded by Gregor, Mm -hmm. uh, Echo, and Azul. Yep. Just in case he survives. Um, (laughs) Just in case he survived the fucking... I was going to say gangbang that's coming. Jesus. Oh, that looks good. That's going to be a hit for sure. Uh, yeah. I'd say so. And he's still standing. And then, uh... Then I'm going to kind of turn my head toward this guy and be like, now it's your turn. And I'm going to just completely spin and bring the bite of the black worm around to try to finish the guy off if he's that low. I don't know how bad he looks. Mm, not terribly. No, but he did recklessly attack me. He was He was the one that did attack. Yes. So this is at advantage. Yes. Oof. Ah, double 14. Advantage didn't matter. Oh my god, look at those rolls. Wow. <laughs> well, you're cursed. <laughs> 15 total one-handed damage. Fucking. Yep, and that, that, that does the damage. Anything else, Onka? Um... See, what can I do as a bonus action? I don't know. Probably not much. Other than rage, I've got nothing unless I want a <laughs> potion, and I don't feel like taking a potion right now, so we're just gonna end our turn. Okay. Oh, I forgot to mark off one of my rages, though. Let's do that. Uh, lay forge. <clears throat> uh, top one misses, bottom hits for eight plus nine. <laughs> Poison damage penned in the who's, who's he bite? Who's he biting? The uh, that corner one. Oh, uh, the one fighting Onka. Yeah. Okay. Let's roll the con save. Oh, I rolled a nineteen and a twenty. Nice. Well, yeah. Uh, so the eight plus four or whatever. Uh, five. Uh, I round. I round in the player's favor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, 13 damage on that one. Then it's my turn. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to keep fighting this guy. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> B-plot. 
I mean, the original B plot was actually the A plot. Did he reckless then, me? Uh, probably. I think he did. So, uh, crit for no, he, these guys basically are supposed to reckless every turn. It doesn't matter. Play effect. So one hand. So eleven. Minus eleven. And then another five. Five of force. Mm-hmm. KK, KK. Anything that else? Be it. Five, ten, twenty, or why am I five? Yeah, the five, treants. ten. Mm-hmm. Not a treant. Um. Does that thing have blind sight? Yes, it does. Oh, rip, Cali. <laughs> <laughs> actually in the status block. Mm-hmm. Kelly, I have four attacks against you. Good. All right. We are going to roll a branch attack. Um, roll 20. Wake up, please. 17. Matches. All right. That is 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Second branch attack. 26 for mm-hmm. 15. Okay. The the roots now are going to burrow into the ground and come out at your feet and swat up at you. Uh, we will have a quick question. Is it I'm not going to, magical weapon damage or is it... For what? For the tree. It's, it's bludgeoning damage. Hold on. And Grasping Roots. Uh, 17. Okay, mm-hmm. so you are grappled. And let me just read through this to make sure. That's what uh, I was So asking. we just see like vines r- wrapped around nothing, basically. Yeah, in the, f- in the form of our favorite Dragonborn Barbarian. And these roots are just pulling you and grappling you into the ground. Um, The good news is he cannot do that attack. Oh, wait. Actually. Hmm. But he can do his bonus action. So he just kind of picks Callie up into the roots. And the form form is a little confusing for the mechanic. Pulls her in and bites at her with this maw that opens up in the trunk. Seventeen. Did you reckless? I did. Crit. Okay. So if he, yeah. Okay. Yep. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna say, Kat? Uh, Jen? Nope. It didn't matter. Oh. It didn't matter. That's if it was set- points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, do you concentrating on greater invisibility? I am. I'm going to have to make a bunch of concentration checks. I'm just uh, uh, four. adding up. Four or three, because only three damage. The grapple didn't do any damage, right? Um, The grapple did do damage. It did eight bludgeoning, so... Okay, so that did... Okay, so it did another eight. Okay, sorry, I missed that one. No, you're good, you're good. Okay, so that's... Sorry, let me just... 38 total. Okay, and then... While she's doing that, does Heavy Armor Master Down, affect first one. Those, uh, those tree branch hits? Yeah, they reduce it. Okay. You so already you're... giving back my three uh, health then? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, thank Oops, you. I took out the wrong one. <sighs> Cali Bondage Fantasy. God damn it, Gregor. She already has the ropes. <sighs> yeah, I know. Um, Jesus. What are you at? 42. They have to all oh, those. Okay. okay. I was raging. True. True. Oof. Because it's not magical damage, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah, no, that's its turn. Okay. Kelly, it is your turn. Okay. Um. So just when it pulled me in, am I still exactly where I am or am I actually closer to the creature now? You are where you are. The okay. Mechanic, the mechanic doesn't say, like, that's fine. You get moved or anything. 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I know I can't move, so I just want to make sure I, yeah. I am where I'm where I need to be. All right, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go after that. So obviously, I lost uh, invisibility during all that crap. Yeah. Um, oh, there's Callie, everybody. Yeah. Uh, hi. Uh, I am gonna fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna activate poison, and I'm recklessly going for the guy that's left here. I'm gonna try to take this dude out. Okay. Holy shit, that's a lot of poison damage. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Uh, it is a con save DC 14 or take half. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, fails. Okay. <laughs> so Fucking he takes 50 points of damage. <laughs> Yeah, he's gone. He has nice three left. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. You were attacking the tree? No, I was. I can't. I can't I reach, say, the you were reaching oh, the tree. Oh, I you were I was, the tree for a second. I, no, because I. Well, I figured tree probably isn't going to fucking apply poison damage. I just wanted to murk this dude that was out in front I mean, of me. You definitely That's what did. A is though. Yeah. <laughs> Different kind of poison, I suppose. Um, yeah. It's to go overkill. <laughs> A little, a little bit. Oh, I'll buy it, everybody. We absolutely need something dead. Yeah. Send it in Cali. But it's dead. All right. Anything else, Cali? Uh, I can't do anything else because I can't move closer. Uh, I'm just going to bonus action drink a potion. Oops, that's a Ooh, I just saw something else, too. So, at the start of your turn, the roots squeeze and bludgeon you for some damage. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad I get to use this stat block. Uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Halved. Half to five, so I only heal two from that. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. All and right. anything else? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> All right. On Forge with the Berserker. Uh, that's a miss. On the Spider. 17 for five points of slashing on this one. Which one? That one? Top one? Cool. Crevice one. All right. On the other spider. 21 for 7. Okay, that spider's dead. Good. On Onka. Reckless. 25. That's a crit. 11 points of damage. Hard pass? No, you, you take it anyway. It's... Have to... That'd be 5 or 6. Uh, Round in your favor, so 5. 5, okay. And Azul. 20 for 10 points of slashing. That was a disadvantage, correct? Why? Because I threw my javelin at him while I was raging and hit him. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess the answer there. Oh, so if you did straight it roll. It would be a straight roll. If yeah, so it's still 20. Right. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to use my reaction with Wrath of the Storm. So that uh, the one that just hit Azul... Needs to make a. Oh, never mind. It's with me. Never mind. My mistake. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Brafis. Brafis. Brafis is like hoofing it because he's like, shit, 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 shit. <laughs> and he needs to reload. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> okay, Miss Callie, don't worry. We got you. And uh, Echo, you're up. Echo's going to take his slings. What is like a shield bash? Okay. One swing. Dead. Right. Nice. He's going to... Just measuring. Yeah, he's gonna get right there beside beside Onka. Okay. And take his last swing. Okay. With a grip. Very nice, very nice. And dead. I like it. Uh, Azul's gonna charge this one. Go ahead. Uh, 
26 and dead because that was a crit. Nice. And get back beside Echo. Mm -hmm. I can't move. I can't move the Zul to size up. Oh, okay. That's fine. So it'll be right here. Okay. And that's my turn. Gregor! I mean, what the hell, guys? You just killed everything around me. Um, I'm going to hoof it to the big old tree at this point. You know yeah. what happens when lightning hits a tree? Fire! Oh, we're about to see what happens when lightning hits a tree, because it's going to get hit. Fear Come right. on, we, let's see a tree make a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> Deck save is an eight. All right. It's taking 30. <laughs> taking 60. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Even better. Trees are vulnerable to, well, this particular tree is vulnerable to lightning. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I imagine also fire. <laughs> Haven't tried it yet. Maybe, mm. fire. Maybe Someone fire? stick some metal into it and I can heat Kelly. Metal. You are no longer grappled it. because it did not like that. Okay. It kind of goes. It's going to fuck up Gregor his, now. But... Yeah, probably. Oh. Anything else, Gregor? I mean, it's bigger than large, so I can't knock it back. So that's no fun. It's it's a fucking tree. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm I'm perfectly good. I'm good. Okay. Da, 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 da. Onka, you're up. How do I show the movement stuff while I move? Oh. Right click as you go. Oh, I see. Oh, wait, nope. That's not right. Like, pick up your token and right-click the squares as you go. Oh, cool. And it'll draw the path that you take. Oh, I could just get there. Yeah. Uh, would it cost me any action to pick up the axe that the... No. It, it, no. On him? No? Okay. Nope. So I'm going to kind of... Um, bend over, grab the axe, and say thank you for holding on to that for me to the dead body. <laughs> so the exact hold on one second, I'm gonna come back to here. So oh, exact, convenient! The exact way I'm gonna kind of move, I'm gonna get to here, and I'm gonna see the tree, and my eyes are gonna kind of light up and you know, like crack my knuckles and be like, "All right!" And uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge in. Um, Does not have vulnerability to axes. Yeah, but somebody <laughs> wants something tree. metal. It should. In it. So um, I'm going to take the hand axe that I just picked up and I'm going to attempt to lodge it with an attack into the tree. Okay. Like I'm not trying to take it back out after I hit. Okay. I want I want to leave it there if I can. Okay. Um, this will be at a, or a normal roll. Well, this doesn't have one or two handed. It's just one handed. Yep. Uh, 25 for 12 damage. <laughs> 12 points of damageo is noted. Uh, and is it? am I good to just leave it in there? Sure. Wait, all right. Second. Oh, shit. That was supposed to be a disadvantage and just accidentally closed roll 20. So that's fun. So let me just reroll a normal roll really quick. And if I don't hit, then we just ignore everything. Probably don't hit. <laughs> Mm. It was an eleven. Yeah, that does not that does not hit. Because yeah, it was not the axe, and I don't think there was anything giving me advantage on that. You could reckless. I'm not gonna wreck on it because I didn't call. I didn't call it because I didn't think I needed to. Okay, fine, noted. Um, anything else? Uh, well, now I'm gonna attack with the correct weapon. Yeah. This one I'm not leaving there because you know it's my special axe so that doesn't get left in there. This time, a 25 again. Jeez. Right, Onka has good pullout game with that axe. <laughs> um, and I didn't realize I didn't roll damage. Uh, it's going to be 13 total, one-handed. Tree kind of recoils back and starts to thrash around. Okay, anything else? Um, uh, just as a preparation, I will pop one of my regular potions. JK. That is 1d4. All right. 2d4. Yep. 2d4, 2d4 plus 2. 2d4 plus 2. Okay, While you are doing that, Forge, your turn. OK. 
Okay, so metal did not get lodged into this tree, right? No. Mm, no. And this tree doesn't have any metal sticking out of it right now, right? No. Okay, then I'll just do normal attacks. Uh, so spider's still around for now. Miss. Well, no hit. Is it reckless? Yeah. Yes, it do. Uh, they, they always do. They always do. So four and thirteen, probably gonna half that because the DC eleven is not enough for these guys. Nope, it is not. So good poison damage though. Yeah, decent poison damage. Uh, and that's the only spider, so that's the only attack for that. And then I go ahead and do some good old fashioned fighting. Bash, bashing. Yep, 22 for 5. Yep. 24 for 9. Okay. And All right. I'm just going to move around the guy. Uh, okay. So I'm in a better position to uh Yeah, no, you're not you're not going to you're not going to pop an attack of opportunity. Okay. The haunted oak's turn. On Onka. Heck yeah. Let's go. Heck yeah, four attacks. Oh, right. right Righto. Uh, that's going... Oh, that's another crit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, that's going to be uncle. 22 points of damage, bludgeoning. All right, so that's 11. Yep. Uh, you're not reckless, right? I did not do reckless, no. Okay, that is a miss for an ele- that's an 11. <laughs> the root attack is going to be a 13. Uh, that's a miss. And the second root attack is a 20. You're going to take 20. seven points of bludgeoning damage. 20 is a miss because I have the bestie bangles. Oh! Hey. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, uh, that's its turn then. Uh, Callie, you're up. All right, we're going to try something. Bestie bangles for the win. We're going to move over here. Are you? Oh, no, it dropped you. Never mind. It did. Um, and I am going to use something for fit spans that I haven't used before. <gasps> the f- I am going to use Innervating Breath. So mm-hmm. it's a f- 15 foot cone. I should. Yeah, that's. Yeah, your own goes out of range. Um, it will has to make a con save DC 12 or become incapacitated. I imagine it's going to make that con. Probably. But but it, did. it did. All right. And then, because uh, that only replaces one of my attacks, my other attack, I will use my regular Lightning Breath. Ooh, I was I was gonna start worshiping Callie if she incapacitated a tree, just like you are a god. <laughs> so, deck save DC. the deck save. All right, so it'll take the thirteen, which is doubled. Doubled to twenty six. All right, and that's my turn. And that was enough to drop it. All right. Hey, yeah. The tree just kind of no. crumbles under the lightning, and uh, inside. Is this is a glowing green spear, which is part of this ni- this tonight's loot. We are gonna go right to break because I ran a little behind on that one. When you guys come back, you will be on the next map. Thank you all for tuning in. We're gonna do still, like, still too alive. Job. What about the yeah, there's, there's, yeah? No, they they fucked off. Sorry, <laughs> they're fucking off. The, the tree died Aww. and they were like, "We're out." Yeah, yeah the tree died. The attack. Yes. <laughs> Take your opportunity. Kill it, dude. Kill it with fire. All right, we got no short rest during break. Uh, no. No oh, short rest this time? Not this time. Yeah. Well, that's going to be fun. You know what? You know what? You, know what? you do get a short rest. You guys can take time. Braff is just standing there like, well, they're going to know we're here now. Braff is so, just like, how did y'all kill a tree that easy? <laughs> all right. Luke, send us a break. We'll be back soon. Bye. So that... Yeah. Can I have...
everybody. We're back in the oh frozen gosh. reach. We've had a bunch of prep time. We had a short rest. Our characters are ready to explore the Orek Cave. O R E K, by the way. I need to try to it. find. <laughs> try and <laughs> try and find this uh, this garrison in a secret tunnel to deliver an important message of. Well, I was going to say important message of vital importance, but god damn it! Secret yeah, tunnels. Damn. Secret tunnels <laughs> in the cliffside. Are, are there doors? You guys may explore this cave system currently out of initiative. And Bravis is like, so if we go down here, down these stairwells, as a ruling, these stairs are not really stairs so much as they are uh, two and a half foot increments. So if you go down two of them from where you are, you're at a depth of 10 feet or five feet down. Make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I'll run you by Risky, who did you do heroism on? Forge. Forge. Me. Okay, I just wasn't sure if you upcasted it or not, or from that. No, because I don't think he's on level paladin. Well, seven. He might have second level spells. Nice little chode right there at the top. Yeah. Doesn't really need to be there. That's Sorry, I didn't draw him the maps. So... You guys have the cave. So we want to try being quiet again. I don't. I don't think that's possible with this group. No. Oh, this is about as clinky a group as you're going to get. Noted. Okay. There's a lot of breaking here, it, and I learned oh. last time. Is there a recommendation on which way we should go? Uh, don't know, dwarf. This is this is more of a natural cave. Uh, the the dwarven made stuff where it actually makes sense is down a ways. I don't know. No, uh, it's been a while. It's been a, many years since I've been here. The left side looks like it goes down further, so let's go to the left. It's a little skinnier, though. Okay. If it's skinnier, then probably I should go first. I'm just going to put that out there. Oh, okay. Fucking Z-snap. You can get behind me and hit them over my shoulder. Yeah, but if, alternatively, I can take hits for you instead. Or, Pause. Or they won't hit me. Gregor, what's your passive perception? 13. So from around the corner, you kind of hear like a... Who's going to stay with Somebody's Gregor. slurping on noodles. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, weird noises never stop moving before. <laughs> yep. uh, I'm going to... You can't see without my light, though, right? <laughs> Well, that I was mean, the point of me going first, bit. too, was the fact that I could actually see. Unka also has dark vision. Uh, I'm going to go with the robot boy. Seeing's never okay. stopped me before. Split it up. Seeing is not stopped me before. <laughs> <laughs> I usually walk right to the wall sometimes because of my nose. I'm follow the rest of everybody. All right. All right, guys. I can see and I'm not clanky. Do you want me to go in front? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I like to imagine that the, the, the Callie, the three gentlemen are literally just walking without listening to you. <laughs> That's fucking typical, right? I climb down and this gray figure comes into my view. George, <laughs> you hear the same noise. And also at this time, I need everybody to please click on your token and roll initiative. This initiative roll. Woo! You by Crackberry Cider. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, they getting, both led to the same path anyways. Getting a phone call. Yep. Oh, we're doing good today on initiative. Hell yeah. Let's go. Yeah, initiative totally wins fights. What's the point oh eight again? Is that your deck? <laughs> yeah. Well, my deck says it does tie break. One four. No, I know that. Mine would be point one four, <laughs> just in case we care. So Forge, you can kind of see like this hulking like crouched figure and you'd hear the that guy looks Yikes. scary <laughs> um i don't think anybody can see him right now though i can't uh, I mean. this guy you can yeah okay yeah, so yeah, yeah. Olga, yes so, yeah i can see him as Olga well you're right he does Good old half orc eyesight. This creature is a large bipedal 
frog looking creature. What the fuck, we will? <laughs> the plot, and I love it. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I love the bad dude. <laughs> What the name is it? Breffus or Breffus? Breffus. B R E F F U S. Breffus. What is this thing? Can we put him up on the wall as a trophy? Uh, kill it! <laughs> I don't know! Done and done, sir. Done and done. I like that. Jen, I'm sorry. I wanted to let you know that I literally sent Luke a message and went, Should I do frog people? <laughs> and you know what his response was. Fuck yeah. Of course. No, his response was frog people. Oh, well, frog uh, people. Yeah. Which means um, fuck yes in frog people language. It does. <laughs> uh, Callie, you have initiative. <laughs> and Olga says, should we kill this? <laughs> Fucking just... All right, get the fuck out of my way. All right, let's 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 go. All right. Uh, we will bonus action rage. And it's a frog people. It's probably not going to take poison. Uh, uh, In all fairness, it's a frog people that you never fought. You, you as a person, I, never yeah, fought yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm um, only a red frog person. <laughs> Stop your metagaming. What the fuck is a frog people? <laughs> we will go reckless. Okay. Oh, that's a hit. I'm going to reroll that damage. I don't though. like the reaction. Well, that was shitty as damage. So we'll just take the damage dice on this next roll. Okay. Which was worse. Wonderful. So that is only a. So it's eight plus three if it takes poison. It does. Oh, interesting. Okay. Seeing that, I will activate the poison for the second strike. Okay. Ooh, and miss. And a miss. All right. And that's my turn. All right. Forge, you hear Uncle yell, can we kill it? Should we kill it? Of course we should kill it. So in that case, I'm going to spiritual weapon uh, on the backside of it. That probably doesn't hit. Okay, it does not hit. What dot are you for a spiritual weapon? I I mean, okay, because I totally set these up ahead of time. And I'm going to just run in. I'm pulling out my Mace of Disruption, just in case this is an undead or a fiend. And we'll sure. smack it. Okay. I'm not going to smack it. <laughs> you are not going to smack it. Nope. And that will end my turn. Alrighty. Gregor! Call to action for Gregor. Hey, it's an ugly frog man. I don't know how to kill one of them. I don't think frogs like lightning, according to X Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's one problem with that. We're in a cave. A thunderstorm does not work in a cave. I learned that lesson last time. <laughs> but Shatter does. <laughs> yeah. Like Emperor. It. Oh. Where the hell is Shatter in the list? There it is. You know what? Fuck it. Let's upcast it while we're at it. No, 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 not upcast. Upcast bad. Uh, shattered, centered, well, kind of the back foot of it, so I don't okay. actually hit anybody, ideally. KK, 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 KK. Uh, so, con save, DC 14. All right, he's going to roll that. Oh, he's good at those. He's really good at this. That's a 23. All right, so he still takes half. Half is nine. And does that work on thunder damage or just lightning? Where is a fun class feature? Where did it go? Uh, no, it's only lightning damage. So yeah, that's okay. it. Actually, no, I will step up at least to get an angry melee range. <laughs> angry, angry old man melee range. By the way, uh, my light, now that I'm close, can... You can fully see it, so anything we notice off the back from... I know we notice now that it's red, but anything else? Nope, just a big, ugly, nasty frog thing that is looking at you all menacingly. After making slurping sounds. Well, it was, it was eating something that appears to be a carcass of some kind. Meh. Onka, you're up. Um, would I be able to make an attack with the spear and an attack with the axe? Or does both of my attacks have to be with the same weapon if I get into uh, the range. If I you would wield them one in each hand. Yeah, so here's the thing. 
it's it's kind of like if you were to run up, could you really no. could you really swing an axe and then pull out a spear and do this? Yeah, I'd have I, to I would. Say, yeah, I'd have to put the shield away. Probably different. It, different if you're like throwing the weapon and then trying to hit with it, kind of thing. It's. I mean, they're both versatile. <laughs> they are both ver- versatile with the two hands. I I most I mostly agree with. I mostly agree with what we was saying though. like if i'm in the middle of an attack i'm not gonna like poke at the poke with the, the whispers you like, begin to me. hear are filth evil filth cleanse it oh. uh, i mean so we're I'm not gonna, gonna avoid we're not gonna say no to that yeah i'm gonna start uh oh, somebody get that good bozo out of chat thank you i'm gonna Sorry. start by bonus action raging we are now angry oh Bonus action raging. You are now angry. Noted. I, I found this uh, icon. Or, oh, there it is. Boom. Um, then can I chuck the angelic spear at it and then run in and attack with the axe? I will I will say yes, because like unsheathing is typically part of your movement. Okay. I so, love the fucking synergy you've had to work around, by the way. Right. So I'm going to chunk the, the spear at it. Yep. Disadvantage, unfortunately. Yep. I'm oh sorry. God. It's a disadvantage. What can I say? Approved. That was actually inside of his head what the, <laughs> the axe was saying. Uh, that is a miss. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to run in here and uh, go to town. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm going to do this two handed. So we're going to just not use the shield. I'll leave the shield on my like back. French and eat the frogs. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go two-handed here. Yes. Uh, n- normal, not reckless. Ugh. Maybe I should have gone reckless. Thirteen. Thirteen will miss. Anything Two. else? Uh, that's movement, attacks, and bonus action. So we are good to go. Echo, they're all running ahead of you. There's something to fight. Seize it. I'm gonna get right here beside Oak and <laughs> We're fucked at this gank him. AE. Fucking gank him! And we're a bonus action. No, oh, that, that was about to be a smite. Shield bash. I mean, not saying it'd be a bad idea. Uh, shield bash is a hit for four points of damage. Nice. And I want that um, divine smite on it. Oh, drop it in, baby. That's another 11 radiant. Oh yeah, that that is a hefty, uh, hefty uh, hit. And then two swings. Oh, you oh you smited with the fucking shield. Interesting tactic. Uh, that's a hit for nine points of bludgeoning. Tom. And that is a miss. Seventeen so far. That's the that's the number. What's everybody's con score? Uh, fuck. Yes. Un- unknown. That would um, be a 14. Oh, sh- I got this. Oh, sure. Yeah, I never will. Refuse to share Save that. Save <laughs> or base. <laughs> um, I did forget Breathis' initiative in the order, so I will have to take his turn real quick. But Dude. you guys know what he's going to do. Blast him. Do oh, yeah. Him. Shoot him in the face. Both fucking barrels, eh? Whap a boom! Fourteen is a hit for Breathis with Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Well, the, the number is a fourteen, not a seventeen. Fourteen. That's the new number to hit. Which sucks because been... I had a thirteen. <laughs> yeah, we were barely missing. <laughs> and another shot. Oof, that's a hit too. He's <laughs> MVP. Breathis. From all the way back there. It's a it's a blunder dark boss. vision? Well, I yes, know, he's a dwarf. Oh. Cool. Oh, I mean, a blunderbuss. It doesn't on. matter. He's it's lit up down here. Yeah. Also, there. yeah. No, it anyway, the blunderbuss is kind of like a shotgun. That's why I was asking. It's it. It's, it's solid slug, not bird shot. It's, oh, okay, okay. it's 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 a wee woo. Like wee woo doesn't know guns. If it's if it's more uh, like a rifle, then it makes it's it's cool. I don't care. He rolled and rolled high enough. It's just fun oh! to it far away with a shotgun. Throughout the chamber. Oh wait, what the hell is that other thing in the initiative? Oh yeah. Throughout the chamber, you all hear 
this loud cackly male voice and it's just like oh it appears we have guests oh. why don't you gully dwarves just give up although Wait. that might be some of your nasty little aether storm boys <laughs> frog's turn some of us couldn't hear because our ears were ringing from the uh the shock from the glass. yeah the shock of blood inside a cave good idea on uh, 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 you're all so heavily armored. I know who's not, though. Mr. Echo. Three attacks on you. Mm-hmm. First one's a bite. 25. Okay. As a hit? As a hit. Uh, the claw. I, I attack claw. using my reaction on Sentinel. Go ahead. Uh, 12. Oh! And the poison was still active because I missed on the last shot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there, there is no second attack. He's dead. <laughs> How do you want to do this, Callie? I, <laughs> I see, like the guy going for basically, like you said, it was a claw strike. Oh yeah, it was a. Claw. It was basically like a claw, like going in, and basically she just stabs it like right under the armpit and just like kind of straight through the lungs and right out the side. Nice. Good right fucking through the bite. Right in the air sac. Okay, good to know. Uh, yeah. how, much, how much did the bite do? The bite did eight points of piercing. Eight? Okay. Yeah. Nice. I didn't hear the damage. Okay, um, probably go figure out what's going on inside. Is that can, in a, a fiend or undead? Breath. Oh, a fiend at all? By any chance? Uh, you don't know. Oh, I wanted to know if my mace would have... But Your mace did not go off. Oh, you did. It never one. hit, so yeah. Don't worry about it, uh, Callie. It's your turn. This thing went down, and you heard noises and talking and other things from inside. Okay. All right. Uh, we will just uh, continue on our way. Three, four, five, six. All right. Uh, I can see another boy up there. <laughs> yes, yes, you can. Uh-huh. I will uh-huh. just shout back because we fucking are loud as fuck anyway. Another one up here, guys! And then five. Oh, there's one down there, too. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. <laughs> 10, 15, 20. Time to split the party. You guys handle one all together. And I will hold my turn there. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we are up to Forge. 15... Uh, 30. Is my weapon allowed to follow, or does it have to do the 20 feet increments? Technically, it has to do 20 feet increments, because that's all it moves. Fine, then just move it 20 feet towards me. Okay. There you go. (laughs) Weapon's the last of the party, baby. Yeah, and I don't see anything, so I'm going to dash. Okay. We get right behind Callie, and, uh, or actually, no, I can't dash, because my weapon movement. Oh, yeah. Oh, weapon movement bonus, yeah. Well, you you can just call it a cast it again. If it's, if it's bad, if it's a bonus action, dashing is just the second part of your action. Yeah, it's your action. Right, right. So I'll just get behind Callie. Yeah, Yeah, we know the rules of this game, I swear. That's a game. I'm just here to make funny voices of y'all. <laughs> so I see that guy. Uh, yeah. And I took the light away from all the people who can't see. Have fun getting through, guys. <laughs> Gregor, you're up and you are blind. Oh, I'm fumbling my way forward following the light <laughs> as best as I can. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's as far as I'm getting. Because <laughs> I can you, just you see Dash Forge. You, you could dash if you, you choose to. Yeah. Dash into the wall. Dash into the wall. <laughs> I'll dash right behind Forge. Okay. Yay. Actually, no. no. I'll, I'll settle back to here in case something comes the other way. Onka, you're up. So I just I just want to point out that I thought it was... I had a really funny image in my head when you were like, the weapon is the last one of the party. It's like, if reinforcements come in through the entr- entrance of the cave and they just see this weapon floating through the air, just do 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 Yeah, so I'm going to follow the rest of the group. 
Oh, okay. Boom. 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 That's the first of my movement. I don't have an angle on anything here. Nope, but you can see... Is it okay to say that I picked up my spear that I'd thrown as well, or... Yeah. Okay. You can pick it up. Uh, Son of a bee. I am am a vengeful god, but I am at least a merciful one. (laughs) Um, From here, can I see both of them? Or no? Um, Can you see them on your screen? I can. I just didn't know, like, with angles... Then you can see... Um, you so can the see lighting, the lighting angles are supposed to reflect or respect LOS. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I will stop here. To be fair, I can see all the way down, like the other curve. Yeah. Oh. And if I'm dashing, I can dash further. Use your, your brain on that. Yeah. Roll twenty LOS and light is not perfect yeah i'm just trying to make this easy because it's also eight eight forty eight we'll just come here and i guess i'm no longer raging because i was not able to take a hostile action you roar Hmm, that's true i mean you could attack forge or at least try to you'll miss but you could try (laughs) kill the robot (laughs) anything else onka um try that I guess. Well, if I stopped here, would I be able to prepare an attack? Or where was I at? Was it here? It was here. You want to hold an attack force? What would be the reason to hold an attack? Like if the frog guy, like if anything moves into sight, attacking my teammates. I mean, okay. probably you could hold an action for that. Sure. I want to, yeah, I want to hold the, the, like an attack with the spear, like a range attack with the spear. Okay, okay. I'll give you a red dot for holding an action. Anything, uh, and that'll be your turn. I'm still, I'm still not raging, though, right? I saw it coming no, out of rage. No. Breakfast's turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Out of the way, boy! 30, 35, 40, 45. Uh, uh, okay, 50. Um, you, you, and me, you and me, Blondie? He's not on my map anymore. Uh, he just disappeared into the wall. Oh, sorry. Well, you and me, Blondie. <laughs> sorry, I can way. put tokens through the line of sight lines. You guys like, can't. He, he got to me, and then all of a sudden he just like went up and disappeared. I was like, what just happened? I don't think that's where he was trying to go. He went yeah. to his greater invisibility. He is one square in front of Gregor. I see it now. Echo, you're up. He's just going to try to follow his friends. Blindly, like, hey! <laughs> We're there, Are let it go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell back to him. Follow my voice, Echo. Walks into a wall. <laughs> Onka's secretly a master of ventriloquism. He throws his voice back at the door of the cave. <laughs> Follow. Uh, we're on a dash. I'm gonna get up here. Oops. Thank you for that. Hey guys! All right. Before the frog's turn, you will hear this exchange. You hear a little bit of a stomp, and it's just like, You cannot take this cave! You will not! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Jen. <laughs> Is that where you thought I was going? No, but that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> And you just hear like this kind of like noise of spell casting. Pew pew! pew. <sighs> Wizard battle. And it's the frog's turn. On Callie. Mm-hmm. Put him into my sight enough to throw my spear. Do that. I? I can see like two thirds of his token. Yep, you're good then. We may, you may trigger your held action. Wait. Disadvantage. Come on, big numbers. Ooh, big numbers. Hit! For... 10. Plus 2d8. Plus 8 radiant damage. Eight Excellent. Total damage. Alright, three attacks on Cali. Mm-hmm. The bite.
Come on, roll 20. Today, Junior! That's a 24. Oh, yep. Uh, seven points of piercing damage. Second attack is a claw. Oh, Another 24. Mm-hmm. For five. Mm-hmm. And I need you to make a con save. Uh-oh. That's fine. And another claw! <laughs> oh, hail the claw. And the uh, next claw is a miss. Okay. 12 total. Alrighty. Clatter of weapons from down the hallway, and you kind of hear one gurgled. Uh oh. Kelly, your turn. Okay. Alright. And I uh, we will. You know what? I'm going to hold off on my rage because we're really spread out at this point. Um, I'm just going to skirt down here just to allow other people into the room. <laughs> and unclick that. And eh, fuck it. I'll, I'll keep going reckless. 16? 16 is a hit. All right. And then... 17. 17 is a hit. So that's a total of 17 points of damage. Excellent. That's my turn. L4GO. I'm going to move in and go to the corner here. Yes, 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 yes. I am going to do something I normally don't do and Sierra and Smite. Oh. Mm-hmm. And then use my Mace of Disruption. Hopefully I'll hit this time. Is it That's a hit. hit? Is it, it is a, a hit. fiend or undead? No. So it doesn't take the extra radiant. So it takes nope. 8 bludgeoning plus the... I don't know why there's two numbers for the science in my end. You just check that real quick. Because I believe Searing Snipe does 2d6. It's 1d6 and a con save. Wait. Okay. Next time, uh, let me display. So it's going to take the two fire and then it's ignited. It's yeah okay. I don't know. I think it just assumes that you would have uh, ignited it. We roll it for yeah. So we'll take the six for the initial radiant, and then the five will be the the failed save if it does. So yeah, I got it. Right. Don't worry. It's right. in it's in the wee woo head. Yeah. So at the start are you concentrating that or? No. Uh, Yes. He, I, he I does not have... Well... Light is concentration. Light's is concentration, it? yeah. No, it's not. Light is um, not concentration. No? I believe you. Light it's just... Not no? Okay. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. that's fine. Oh, all right. Um, I believe the Searing Smite is spent, though, if I'm not mistaken, but the... No, I, I don't know. We'll get an answer on that momentarily. So you can concentrate Wait. it and it stays on your wet... Oh... Well, yeah, he hit, so it is still spent, so there's no reason to concentrate on it anymore. Right, yeah. yeah, it's, a, it's, uh, yeah spite, it's just... It's spite's like expand once you use yeah. them. Okay, that's so fine. So, I don't have to concentrate on it anymore. It's concentrated. Uh, the con well. save was a fail, so that'll be... There's so many it's spells on, in this fucking yeah, game. Yeah, it's on the start of its turn that it has to make the, the con save, though. So. Oh, okay. So it, so. it takes the two damage, and then the additional four damage is for every time it fails. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's coded very weirdly in um yes. in in roll twenty then. Or no, you're porting from D and D Beyond. Yep, that's probably a problem. Uh, Gregor, that's written. <laughs> Gregor, you are ready to go. Wouldn't it only right. ignite damage every turn instead of just taking four each turn? No, it just no. It, okay, well, well it's curious. supposed to, but yeah, just, technically, it's but easier just, just to take the Let's keep going, guys. Guys, let's just uh, keep going. I'm gonna. It's not gonna take long. I'm kind of gonna shove breakfast out of the way and just work my way past him. Uh, left or right, left or right, left. Oh, right, you passed right. it. Went left, right last time. Now it's time to go right. Oh shit! <laughs> You're running right into it, you fool. I like your style. <laughs> I never learned my lesson anyway, and. It's gonna get a thunder wave because I can see it and I don't like it. I'm gonna cast that at second level. 
So it needs a con save, 14, or take 12. Con save is a fucking big fail. And shove it back 12 feet while I'm at it. <laughs> or 10 feet. How much did it take? 12? 12. Okay. okay. Anything else, Mr. Gregor? I was going to shout, there's an ugly one up here, too. <laughs> fucking frog people. <laughs> Onka! Is this square passable? Yes. For simplicity's sake, yes. It's like squeezing against the wall kind of thing. Like, ooh, sorry, Echo. Ooh, why do you have to push him back? <laughs> also, do you have popcorn done? Mission? Nope. He does. That's why it makes it fun. Oh, Onka, oh, Onka does. does. I don't. Do I have what? Oh. Yeah, I have dark vision. Yeah. Onka has a dark vision. Don't worry. Hmm. 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 Which way do I want to go? Yeah, so we're going to get... Oh, shit. Let's stop dragging. Oh, God. What did I do? Oh, God! <laughs> so we're going to get to about here and realize that I feel like Callie since she just decimated the frog thing in the other room, probably has that one under control. <laughs> I like the logic, but yeah, sure, whatever. And and having heard Gregor but not being able to see him, I'm going to move up. So that was already 10. This is a little bit different. Uh, somehow I got closer, but yeah, we're going to end up here. And I'm You got closer because it doesn't count the movement from before. But no, I, I stopped at 30. Oh, no, I stopped at 35. And Don't I, worry about it. It's yeah, fine. We're right yeah. here. All right, so I'm going to throw both of my hand axes. <laughs> waka, waka. That's my That's my hand axe throwing noise. <laughs> there you go again. Uh, waka, waka. There you go. <laughs> Can I bonus? Can I bonus, <laughs> Can I bonus oh race before I attack? Uh, Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, we're, uh, we're breaking again. I was going to hold it, but I think can, I can see those guys off to my right now, so I feel like I, oh, yeah. I'm going to get back into combat. Um, all right, so disadvantage. Oh, Miss Gully Dwarf, we're going to... 13? Have to wait a moment. Yes, uh, 13 for 13 is a miss. And the second one, that's also a miss. I don't even need to see what yes, the second one is. Yes, it is. I didn't even need to see the one. I saw the four and I was like, well, it doesn't matter what the other dice is now. <laughs> I need, okay. Anything else, Unka? Um, no, that's my movement, bonus action, and uh, action. So we are good. Right. Full time. Uh, Blondie, you gotta, you look like you got this one well in hand. Turns, rounds on the one on, uh, no, he has not reloaded yet. He's reloading. <laughs> <laughs> Echo, door. you're All up. All talk, no action. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I would have loved to just have raised it and been like, oh shit. Click. Alright. Echo's going to get right beside Forge. Maybe maybe if Warsick had a gun, he'd be alive now. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> oh. No, Warsick he wouldn't. Have. Power word kill. I was not power word killed. Oh, that was a different group. No, uh, no, no. no. No, no, I got too drunk to know what I was doing. Anyway, go ahead, Echo. Sorry. Bonus back to Shield of Faith. Shield of Faith. Got it. So plus. I think it's 2 8 AC, in it? Plus 2. Yeah, plus 2 to your okay. AC. Right, I'm going to take two swings. Mm hmm. Oh, come on. Connect, Echo. That's a miss. That's a miss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the dichotomy. Fucking split the diff. Anything else? And that's it. No! You cannot do this! Well, ah, fuck, I don't have lines ready for this part. <laughs> Be me, by my father's hammer! I'll, let, I'll keep it safe! Shit, I was not ready, Jed! Don't laugh at me! Laugh. <laughs> my dear, while you're prattling away, I have some business to attend to in the other cave. Oh, pat, pat. What's he casting at? He is a. 
Uh, what's your AC, Mr. Um, Mr. Onka? Um, 18. 18, okay. Because I didn't have my shield out. Why is it... Alrighty. Apparently... I'm scared. Sorry. Yeah, you should be. I also didn't code this right away. Sorry. I'm in danger. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. No, you're good. Oh, it's not, not, not plus 98. I am so sorry, guys. I thought this would be all set up, but it wasn't. For some reason. Okay. First missile. Does a 16 hit? No. Second. 19. Does hit. Okay, 10 points of force damage as the second Eldritch Blast connects with your chest. Whew. And the third, 20 for 6 points of damage. Hold on. I just, oh, that was my temp damage. Whew, I forgot I had temp HP. So you take 16 total. Um, I guess technically that'd be my shoulder, not my chest, because I'm probably yeah. facing the frog guy. Mm -hmm. That'd be like my back like upper shoulder area yep okay my dear i'm gonna go finish off this little problem one two three four oh wait nope he doesn't do that yet never mind ah frog people on onka my favorite three attacks let's go bite. 21 hits for seven points of piercing non-magical three uh, yep. First claw is a 24. Yep. Uh, for seven points of slashing, and I need a constitution saving throw. Con save. Normal roll. I'm good at these. 16. Saves. And second attack, 17. Does not hit. Excellent. On... Uh, on who? Because there's three of them and it's not really... Echo! Three hits on... Or three attacks on you. Okay. 19. Miss. Again, shield of faith, baby. 17 is a miss. Your aim is 23 AC. Okay. Cool. This is a fucking tanky party. How are you doing? <laughs> and more just clashing of weapons and another like. <laughs> and we got Callie. What's up, Callie? All right, we're we're just recklessly going at this boy again. That's how Callie always does it. Hey, oh. <laughs> no protection. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. so... Ooh, second one probably misses. I thought 14 was a hit. Was it? 14 is a hit. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll re the last damage. 14. Yeah, that's a good re-roll. Alright, so that's an extra 4 damage to that one. 4 damage? So uh, total of what? Uh, so that's... 12 plus 15, so that's 27 total between the two hits. Very nice, very nice. And uh, so I'm hearing the shouting and magical bullshit. How how hurt is this thing looking? Not, not, not tremendously? It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad? Alright, fuck it, you guys got it. And I will take an opportunity to check. Okay. That was my plan. <laughs> so, 20 feet in the levitating in the air is a rather decrepit, let's, for lack of a better term, evil looking gentleman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you can presume is the one of the main uh, locations of the loud ruckus shouting. And you really don't see very much over this uh, this cliffside that he's on at the moment. 
Okay. You might see if you're a little bit you're a little bit elevated from it. You might see like battle being waged down below. Gotcha. Okay. And at the end of your turn, he is going to activate his one legendary action. And he actually bamps over here. Uh, he would have to pass through. Oh, no, that's not that one's technical. He, he did not move. He misty stepped. He misty stepped. Gotcha. All right. Well, he was 20 feet up anyway, so. Yeah. He's now 10 feet above you, Unka. And is oh, just kind of kind of sitting there, hands Gently, with his chin on him. Hello. Above me. Creature. Yeah, you ten feet above, above you. me, as in out of range of my axe. Yes, that that's typically out of range of your axe. Well, that bastard. And uh, it's going to be Forge's turn. Kelly stole my plan. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Let's see, how many spell slots do I have left? Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm gonna action Spirit Guardians. Okay. So, uh, 15 foot radius around me. All my friendlies are fine. Yep. Immune. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna recast the the spiritual weapon. Kick, 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 kick. And that's going to be kind of in the doorway that we came from. Alrighty. Kind of where Callie once was. Cake, um, cake, cake. And that missed. So that will be my action bonus action. Cool, 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 cool. Um, okay, enters for the first time or starts their turn there. Alrighty. Gregor. All right, I'm going to step up next to Onka. I want to switch the right mode. Because being side by side by Onka never failed me before. Is the never. guy So the guy is how high up in the air? Uh, about 10 feet. He is hugging the ceiling right now. He's, he's, oh, 10, that, feet higher, he's 10 feet higher than us. Yes. That's he's fine. Of, he, he can still get underwaved. <laughs> and this one... Yeah, I can upcast it at second level. And while I'm at, at it, uh, no, I'm not going to maximize it. So come on, con 14 and fail that thing. Con 14. He did not fail. What about the Frogman? It's uh, a 15 foot cube. You are right. <laughs> Frogman fails. Wait. Sorry, Frogman does not fail because he saves that advantage against magic. It's fine. They're still getting both moved 10 feet again. <laughs> oh, how dare you? Nobody tells me what to do. Yeah, your mom just needed to bend you over a knee and spank you more. You'll learn to listen. <laughs> you're an insolent one. And you're a pain in the ass. Get used to it. It'll be fun to break you. Uh, the response from... The frog is... Nobody asked you, frog. Can I take an attack of opportunity as he gets put it away from me? force movement, you may not. Force, okay, I just checking. Okay. I didn't know if I could or couldn't, that's why I asked. You're good. Uh, Unka, you're up. Uh, so the guy got force moved, but he stayed in the air? Like, nothing stopped him from levitating? Nope. Question mark? Nope. So he's not he's in the air up. anymore? No, he's okay. still in the air. He's still up there. Okay. Um, so but now he's a perfect spear target. <laughs> tie me, why me a little bit. Um, as he hit me with the Eldritch Blast, I would have roared and just kind of glared at him over my shoulder. Yeah. So as this turn starts, I'm going to say, so you like attacking people in the back. I'll deal with you in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to look at the frog and say, I'm going to deal with you first. <laughs> And as I move toward the frog, I'm going to pull out one of my javelins and chunk it at stupid idiot that Eldritch Blast me. Okay. Because he's now closer to, what's his name? To Gregor. Come on, big numbers. Oh, those are big numbers, I think. 23 to hit. 
23 is a hit. That's 13 damage, and my Ancestral Guardians will now be all over him. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Ah, it's disgusting! They're touching me in ways that are not right. Stop it! And I'm not even going to really watch to see if the javelin hits just right after I chunk it. I'm just going to have so much faith that it's, that I throw it truly. And I'm just going to pull out the axe with both hands and attack. Uh, am I allowed to do the second attack recklessly if I didn't do the first attack recklessly? I believe you have to declare reckless at the start of your turn. Okay, then not reckless. That's fine. Straight roll. Straight roll. Big numbers, not big numbers. <laughs> not big numbers, no. That'll be a mess. Right. That would have been that great be a mess. mess, though. <laughs> all right, sounds like you're all in trouble. Coming over, coming over. Don't... One side, one side. Frog, you're going to look good on my wall. Fire! Oh, breakfast crit. Crack. Crack a goom. Really low damage rolls for him, though. Oof. Why did it do that? Oh, that's annoying. 14. <laughs> and uh, another one. Another one. That will be a hit for almost as much damage as the crit. That's disgusting. What was he shooting? The frog? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got to reload. See you guys in a bit. Echo, you're up. Ah. Bonus action. Shield bash. That's a hit. For four. I'm going to take a swing. Nine is a miss. And another swing. Nine is a miss. Nines. Oh. How bad is it he's looking? looking? He's looking pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Back. Oh. Sorry, pass. Right. Boys! Boys, step out of it! You don't have to kill each other! <laughs> Another one gets got. Uh oh. Snap out of it, please! You know what's going on! <laughs> Don't hit you in the back, huh? Does it again. Three attacks on you, Mr. Onka. And he's still levitating even after I hit him? Yeah, he is. Oh, wow. This dude's like... That's a miss. Uh, 26 for eight points of force damage. And 13's a miss. Fucking hell. It was eight points? Eight points of force damage. Yep, I don't have resistance to that. No, you do not. And the frog's turn. On you, Wonka. Yep. Let's go. Uh, tw that's a crit. That's going to be... <sighs> Math is hard. 16 points of piercing. Eight. Se second attack. With the claw. 24 to hit for yep. 10. Slashing, and I need a con save. Yep. Already on it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's stay over here. That's going to be a uh, save. All right, last claw attack is a miss. On Echo, we're going to keep going with you. Oh, shit. Guardians 23. Your Guardians, got it. Uh, you know what, though? Spirit's Guardians was just enough to take it out. For fuck's sake. So no attacks. Callie, you're up. All right. Uh, did somebody say inappropriate touching and liking it from behind? Um, you said he is only 10 feet in the air now? Mm-hmm. Okay, I will bonus action use my last rage. And I have fucking reach. Of course you do. Of course you and do. And he looks not like a thing that would be immune to poison. So we are going to activate the poison and we're going to go reckless because that's what Kelly do. Oh, that's a lot of poison. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of poisons. Uh, he does have to make a con save, or it's halved. There, it's fourteen. Yeah, he failed. Yo, <laughs> let me see. Poison doing fucking work. Oh, oh. 
Ugh. Oh, that oh that burns. Is it? Uh. Is that good touching for blind? And one more. <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> oh, Fifteen is a hit. Okay, it was reckless. It was twenty-three anyway. But yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So that's another seventeen points of damage. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh. Uh. 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 <clears throat> Would you like some more? And now he missy steps over to us. <laughs> <laughs> he already used his legendary action. Yeah, but it's already gone, so he gets it back. So he does misty step. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to play. I'm sure that's not the first time you've made burning holes. Forge, <laughs> <laughs> you're up. Oh, I'm going to start heading towards the uh, the other side. That's why you pee after. <laughs> did, did somebody put like a, a rated M warning on this? Uh, yeah. It's never been, it's never not been rated M. This is the most rated M mission I've been a part of, and I don't dislike it at all. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, what do you mean, really? I said I don't dislike it. Oh. I don't see the enemies, so I'm going to dash... Okay. You see Braff is there. He's he's like pounding the shot down. He's you know he's pounding dump. some. He's reloading his blunderbuss. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> I don't know guns. There and then uh just move my uh thing twenty as a bonus action, that's my action bonus action. Okay. Gregor. It's like Oh, that's where you went, you son of a bitch. And I'm just going to chuck Riptide at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because if he's in the air, I can't hit him anyway. Yeah. Dice also don't fail me now. Uh, spirit Guardians, by the way. Yep. Does a Not 15 effective. hit him? Uh, 15 hits for 15 points. Yeah. Does that affect And him? then... Hold on, Slappy. Hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Let me... <laughs> And then Riptide return. Yep. So he needs to make a deck save uh, DC 14. Um, he makes it. He makes the save. All right. Yeah, that's fine. He'll take the damage then. Damn. Okay. Uh, uh, but I, I'll get over to there. Kind of like chuck the axe and rush up to it. Yeah. Okay. Slappy, uh, yes. You may roll the damage, and I'll roll the save. What kind of save is it again? Wisdom 14. Uh, he makes it. So, 5 damage. Yep. Well, technically, he hasn't started his turn. That was just a... First time he enters the, uh, the area. So then he enters because it moves... Wait, it, it does move with you. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Guardians moves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it does. So he was forced to enter. Gotcha. Yep. Onka, you're up. Um. All right. Uh, what do we want to end do? this? End this. Purge. Do I get a feeling of what it's talking about? Yeah. Was it Once talking about this the, fucking thing? Is it Once talking about the frog thing or the bit? Yeah, the guy talk, yeah, either one. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that guy now since the, the rest of the team seems to be on top of him. And I'm going to take two reckless attacks at the frog, two-handed. Okay. Do the axe's bidding. Sixteen for fifteen damage. Hey, viewers, voice control is... Lo- the viewer's choice poll is live. You can vote in it if you are a player. Just don't vote for yourself, because that's a dick move. Uh, how much damage? Uh, 15 damage. 16 to hit. That is a hit. And he is a down. He's Good down. job. Um, hey. I'm going to spin around and chunk. Is there a way to throw a javelin recklessly? That's not a thing, right? No, I don't believe there is, no. Nope, it has to be a melee attack. Yeah, reckless is a melee attack. Okay, so I guess we're going to chunk one of my remaining javelins. 
think I have two left in this map. At disadvantage at the dude floating in the air. Yep. Uh, uh, that'll be a nat, uh, nat one. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that misses. Um, and then I'm going to pop my greater healing potion. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to run Braffus' turn. Well, you guys all see them like you got this well in hand. I'm going to go check on what's going on over here. Hey! Hey! Oh. Just runs by you, Callie. Oh. What are they doing? They're killing each other. What? Yeah, I don't know. I assume it's that wizard fucker doing Probably. something for the brains. Echo! You are all on your lonesome with a dead frog. Hold on a second, I'm trying to do some math. It's right here. Can I walk by that? Right here? Yeah. Okay. You have enough movement to walk by it. Okay, because that's where I'm trying to get to. <laughs> right there. And is he still levitate? You can't see him from where you are there. Oh, sh I can see a glimpse. I guess it's just a lot of other people. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. And I should just dash... That's not what I want to do. It's a few minutes to get your votes in, everybody. Get them in while they're hot, hot, hot. I don't know. Sorry. I'm bad at advertising. That's it. Alrighty. I don't think you can do a bonus action. But if you dash. Boys! Boys! What are you doing? Please, stop! You cannot be doing this! You cannot. Huh. It just she breaks the last two up, bloodied and just like, and they're still trying to like swing wildly at each other. Oi. Hmm. You are all very interesting. I would love to pick your brain sometime. But I don't I gone? think. That is My a golf. good idea. Slaps his hands together. A portal opens up behind him. Toodaloo. See you all later. And you are out of combat. Because these guys, like, run. these guys like to bamf out. It's very common tactic for them. <laughs> I guess. Oh, what you guys see is a. Let me get the picture up for you. Is a young, scholarly looking dwarf woman holding two kind of flailing, bloodied male dwarfs at arm's length from each other where there are bodies of other male dwarves littered all around her. Hey, <sighs> who are you lot? Uh, we were like hired by Frazzy Tea Leaf to uh, deliver a message to somebody here. I don't, I don't know. Does it have a, does it have a name on the, the front of it? Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, Braffus Fan of runs up. Uh, we got a message for, to be delivered to the Citadel. Uh, Miss, she full, full last name of the same, Jamil. Um, she have dad, dad's last name. Technically, she has dad's last name, and what I. What is? I, I, oh boy, I don't have it fucking on me. Okay, I'll make it up. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh we're looking for. I don't know um, if she would. I don't know if she would have put it on there though. It might just be her first name. We're looking for Ziggler Junior. <laughs> Uh, you're looking for Ziggler Jr. Uh, that that to be me. I uh, that's odd. Who from? Well, here you read it. I'm not going to read it for you. You know how to read, don't you? Well, yeah. Me, me ma taught me. <gasps> ma, me ma's alive. I haven't seen her in years. You don't know. I, 
an attack. I got the one the others. We Boys, snap out of it! She whacks their heads together. I uh calm emotion if they're still fighting. I thank you. Them. Yeah. They stop. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Metal Metal Man. Are you a worker of the Citadel boy? No, I'm a work of the AAA. The Amazing. Thought we was the only they do ones. Some very amazing work in Kadoria. I they do. So this is from Mima. You where is she? Ah, she be in a last we knew she was in Bardson, but she might have uh the the accents are mixing together. I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> um They uh she probably set sail for Urbanward. I didn't even know she was alive. View, uh, viewer's choice goes to Callie. Congratulations. Woohoo! That's 19 leaf points. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. She just. She wipes a single tear. I didn't even know she was alive still. She's been gone for, for so long. She's. She can't come back. I. I Lass, I don't know. I. I just delivered the message. Well, thank you. Thank you, sir. Boys, I need you. To... I'm going to go go, go in. I'm going to try and get reinforcements. Barricade the cave. Collapse it. We can't hold it with two. Thank you. Thank you all. And with that... We are going to expedite the session. A job well done. Fighting through what would be an active war zone through barbarians and berserkers and all other loads of nonsense to get back to here. So. Now comes the hard part of the night for me because the easy part is playing the game. So many options. Ah. Uh, so. For the for the tactics and everything else that has been displayed with working around such a big obstacle that I myself put in his way. Onka, DM's choice. You are doing amazing with that fucking axe. Um and I'm going to offer this is a lot, and he doesn't even know it's coming, because welcome back, Risky. You are you are going to get the option for the third tea leaf point and write our summary for the night. Oh, as it is a so you weren't here for this as an in person or an in character summary of tonight's events that goes up on the world anvil. You earn yourself an an op, an optional tea leaf point point if you choose to accept. Sure, well that would not. It sounds like it's fun. All right, you turn that into me and you get the point once I get the article. Thank you very much. Does it have to be specific on how long, or does an article? What, whatever fits your character. Um, one of them is like a couple, uh, a couple words really, and it's hilarious and it's well done. Uh, Clang's description, if anybody okay. wants to read that one. Um, so <laughs> let's dole out some stuff. You guys are going to get one thousand six hundred experience. Ugh. Uh, again, not dinged. a lot of gold. Who who dinged? Onka dinged. Hey, there you go. Nice. And now he gets some fun reactions. Bravis pays each of you 300 gold pieces for the assistance. Sorry, guys. He's not made of money. But we have two magic items to give away that you got. One of which you guys found on the way. One of which is gifted to you by, um, Ziggler, Ziggler Jr., I was just going to say Ziggler, and I'm like, I can't say Ziggler. Ziggler Jr. <laughs> Ziggy? <laughs> no, we uh, we do have a rollover. Show you real quick. The Wand of I Enemy Detection requires a tomb and has seven charges. While holding, you can use an action and expend one charge to speak its command word. For the next minute, you know the direction of the nearest creature hostile to you within 60 feet. Excuse me, but it's not its distance from you. 
The wand can sense the presence of hostile creatures, which are ethereal, invisible, disguised, or hidden, as well as those in plain sight. The effect ends if you stop holding the wand. It gains 1d6 plus 1 expended charges daily at dawn. If you expend the wand's last charge, roll a d20. On a 1, the wand crumbles to dust, in, or crumbles into ashes and destroyed. I believe that popped up for all you because I hit show to players. Yeah. Okay. So we will do a quick bit on that, and then I will introduce the new magic items. So, the command for the bid system is slash W space GM space number of tea leaf points you wish to bid. You can see it in chat. Just take off the quotation marks. Wand of enemy detection. Place your bids now. Uh, going once. Going twice. That's not a bid. I'm rolling my hit die. I know. The wand of enemy detection will roll over again. All right. Two items. One is a a pale blue fabric bag given to you by Ziggler Jr. This is the icy bag of tricks. This ordinary bag, made from pale blue fabric, appears empty. Reaching inside the bag, however, reveals the presence of a small, fuzzy object. The bag weighs half a pound. Use an action to pull the fuzzy object from the bag and throw it in up to 20 feet. When the object lands, it transforms into a creature you determine by rolling a d8 and consulting the table that corresponds to the bag's color. It's a bag of tricks in the, in the icy north. This is based off of a rust bag of tricks, so you can just pull it from D&D Beyond and use it as such. You have a rat, an owl, a mastiff, a goat, a giant goat, a giant boar, a snow leopard, and a polar bear. So you're saying I could have more familiars. Fuck you. Pretty much. Somebody else get this item. So, that is the icy bag of tricks. The weapon pulled from the, the haunted oak is the blood spear of the first chieftain. <clears throat> Generations ago, the first chieftain of the Black Worm decreed that spears that had tasted the blood of his enemies shall be planted firmly across his holdings. These weapons soon warped the landscape, becoming dormant haunted oaks of the Frozen Reach, to be awoken in times of war. His own spear was planted first, and to this day these blood spears can be found in the heartwood of the trees they grew around. When you hit a melee attack using this magic spear and reduce it to zero hip or an enemy and reduce it to zero hit points, you gain 2d6 temporary hit points. Please, players note, this is a D&D Beyond item under Blood Spear. The source is Curse of Strahd and the flavor text will be different. So, would we like to bid on the spear or the bag of tricks? No preference? We're going to start with the bag of tricks. All right, starting with the bag of tricks. Get your bids in now. Going once. Going twice. Going thrice. A bid is closed and we have a winner for two tea leaf points. Callie. I Thank you. I almost did it. <laughs> more. 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 Oh, thank you, Luke. All right. The Blood Spear of the First Chieftain. Little, nice little unattunable magic item that you can get some life back from. So, we are now accept bids for the Blood Spears of the First Chieftain. Going once. Going twice. I guess I should probably slow it down a little. We'll go twice. Uh -oh. One. Need a minute? Okay. Going twice. Okay. I'm just going to do it this way. <laughs> going thrice. Going, I've got something blinking. What is that? Oh, that's sorry. Okay. 
And the bids are closed. Um, this is a tie because I, I think Risky's Command didn't work, right? <laughs> it didn't work three times. <laughs> so for one point, we have a tie between Brother Gregor and Ris- um, Echo. I need you guys to roll a D100 in the chat window, please. Oh, jeez. And the blood spear goes to Brother Gregor. Um, what's that? Gregor, what's that? Uh, Just just a pointy savvy thing. You you don't need more. You have me and you have the axe, and I already think you use the axe too much. But what do you expect me to do? Hit things with you? Yes! He does it! He's better trained at it than I am. <laughs> this is... You don't take me anywhere nice. You spend all your time with Callie. This is just... I don't know if this is working. <laughs> anyway. Um, thank you all for playing. That was a... That was an interesting mission that we kind of came up with. Uh, I came up with... Well, we uh, came up with on the fly from the from the home game that I run with. J Mill and uh, uh, oh, what's his name? Luke. That's his name. Um, but yeah, so uh, that was a lot of fun. I think I think you guys kind of got to see what I put my home players through, and uh, we're gonna raid out to Medical. So you guys go give the love. I would say say Dungeon Daddy says hi, but you can say that anyway. I don't care. It's not just not my line. Tell him Wewoo says hi because that's what I do. All right, everybody. Thanks for playing. We will see you Monday with more D and D. Bye. (laughs) Callie's going to roleplay.